Greetings, everyone. Greetings. We want to greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We certainly are thankful again that we're able to make it back here again to Chester, Pennsylvania, for no other purpose but to bring you the Word of God. Uh, this is our return trip uh, to this area. And for those that are listening at home or watching this program, um, it's being recorded on the afternoon of, I believe, September the 15th, the year 2002. Uh, it is the Truth of God radio and television program with our pastor, Pastor Gino Jennings. Uh, this time we're going to ask everybody to stand as Minister Stephen Williams shall lead us in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, and praise you once again for this day. We thank you, Lord Jesus, once again for this time and this opportunity that we may get a chance to hear the words of truth preached and taught as it was in the days of the apostles. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for how you allowed us to gather here this day. My God, and blessed us, O God, to come together that we may hear truth. Bless us, O God, not only to be <coughs> hearers, my God, but doers of thine word also. My God, remember those this day that seeking after the Holy Ghost. Help them, O God, my God, that they may believe as the word of God is being preached. My God, that they may believe so until they be filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Even on this day, O God, my God, bless those that may be sick. Any that may be ill, O God, help them, O God. Bless them, O God. Give them divine healing and divine strength according to your will and your purpose. My God, bless, my God, the children. Lord God, look down upon them. My God, bless them that don't believe. My God, that they may become believers by thine power. Look down upon the pastor, O God. My God, encourage his heart. My God, give strength to his mind, O God. Help him, O God, to continue to live and teach. My God, and preach the truth of thine word. My God, encourage him, O God. Help him, O God, over all things, O God. My God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. My God, remember the listeners, O God. Remember those that get a chance to see the truth. My God, as it's being declared. My God, open up their understanding. My God, bless that many may repent of their sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost and have a mind, O God, to follow in thine holy way. My God, we thank you, O God. Oh God, for your divine goodness, my God, and for your kindness. We thank you, Lord God, for your mercy. My God, we thank you for your long suffering. My God, and for your great patience that you show upon us. My God, now bless this service. My God, in a special manner. My God, according to your goodwill and your purpose. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> Once again, for those that are just joining us, uh, you're watching and listening to the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. Uh, it's a pre-recorded program. Today we're coming to you from Chester, Pennsylvania, uh, 701 Yarnell Street in the city of Chester, uh, Pennsylvania. We want to welcome everybody that's here today. We're certainly happy that you're able to make it out. Uh, before we go any further, we're going to ask Brother Steve Williams to come back to the podium again to reach to us from the scriptures. This time, we're going to ask everyone to stand. We'd like to read in your hearing from the third chapter of the book of Proverbs and begin at the first verse. The scripture says, My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life, and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. This time you may be seated. That was from the third chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 1 through verses 6. Back in the hands of Brother Daniel. <laughs> Once again, we want to greet everyone that's assembled here in uh, Chester, Pennsylvania. For those that are listening, again, or watching at home that have just joined us, this is the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's pre-recorded, and today we're coming to you from Chester, Pennsylvania, uh, 701 Yarnell Street. Specifically, we're at the W.M. James Leak Plaza, W.M. James Leak Plaza, and that's in Chester, Pennsylvania. 
Uh, we just want to let you know that today's program number is another milestone uh, in the programs that we've aired so far. Today's program number is 600. Program number 600 Wonderful. being recorded on the afternoon of September the 15th, the year 2002 in Chester, Pennsylvania. Uh, we do also want to remind you of the church's local number. Uh, that's 1-800-231-2201. 1-888-231-2201. Uh, that number will be on screen uh, periodically throughout the program. So if you do have questions or concerns about the program, Chester, or anybody listening or watching, then call that number and uh, leave your question. I would also like to remind you that you can visit us on the internet. Uh, our website address is www.truthofgod.com. Uh, go there to our website and see what's there. Nothing but truth for you to enjoy. Also, uh, we do have uh, the Truth of God Journal, the fourth edition. That's also available now uh, for your purchase. It costs 10 U.S. dollars if you're able to afford it. If not, then we'll still like to give you a copy of that publication. That's the Truth of God Journal. Uh, it's available for 10 U.S. dollars. Uh, we do also want to mention that Pastor Jennings will be preaching uh, in uh, Hartsville, South Carolina. Hartsville, South Carolina. That's October the 26th. Uh, the year 2002. He's going to be at the Hartsville uh, Center Theater. The Hartsville Center Theater. That's 212, 212 North 5th Street. 212 North 5th Street. And uh, that's in Hartsville, South Carolina. Uh, that service begins at 7 p.m. Uh, on Sunday, Sunday, October the 27th, uh, I do believe it will be at the local temple in that area, and that's located at 1010 Gibbs Avenue. 1010 Gibbs Avenue, and that's in Florence, South Carolina. Gibbs Avenue is off Mechanicsville Road, off Mechanicsville Road in South Carolina. That service begins on Sunday at 12 noon. Once again, October the 26th and the 27th, Pastor will be in the Florence, South Carolina area. Uh, the 26th is going to be at the Hartsville Center Theater. That's 212 North 5th Street. 212 North 5th Street, and that service begins at 7 p.m. October the 26th. On uh, the 27th, Sunday, uh, you will be at the local temple there. That's located at 1010 Gibbs Avenue, 1010 Gibbs Avenue in Florence, South Carolina. That service begins at 12 noon, and uh, Gibbs Avenue is off Mechanicsville Road in Florence, South Carolina. Uh, if you're able to attend those services, we're certainly welcome to do so. There will be no entrance fee at the door. Uh, so feel free to come if you have money or if you don't. Uh, once again, today's service is coming to you from the W.M. James Leak Plaza, located at 71 Yarnell Street in Chester, Pennsylvania. I'm going to uh, present on to you our leader, teacher, guide now, and messenger of the <coughs> Almighty God. We're going to ask everybody to please sit quietly and listen as Pastor Jennings brings the word of God to you. There may be an, an opportunity... <coughs> Uh, to ask questions, uh, but ask, uh, be ready to uh, do so if pastor should give uh, the okay for that to be done. At this time, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus, the one God of the prophets and the one God of the apostles. We thank him for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. We thank him for his prophets and we thank him for the apostles. We thank him greatly for the greatest religion that have ever been recorded in the scriptures, which is the way of holiness. We're glad for another uh, day to be back here in Chester. I had a wonderful meeting last evening. And we are thankful to see so many of you who returned here the best thing that I've ever been in the scriptures, that is truth. If you're here for anything else, you're wasting time. For we don't have anything else to offer you but what is written in the scriptures. Everyone is welcome. <clears throat> and I say that because many religions cater to the color of people's skin. We had some visitors here last night and I was hoping they was going to stay. And I'm pretty sure they are watching black Hebrew Israelites who believe that Jesus simply died for black Jews or black Hebrews only. The scripture teaches us that the Lord offered up that body once for all 
through the eternal spirit. So, uh, regardless of your color, and I often say that because I get a lot of hate mail and hate calls from people of other ethnic backgrounds who believe I am a hater of people who don't have the same skin complexion as mine because we preach against racism. Mm -hmm. There are devils out of every nationality. Amen. There is no supreme race. And I want to make this very plain to every black, brown, white, yellow, beige, cream, clear colored human. No one is superior and no one is inferior. That's right. The only high exalted one is God. That's right. Is that right? Amen. We bow to him. That's right. We don't bow to black folk. We don't bow to white folk. We bow to God. Amen. I know many of you watching would ask, well, what color is God? I don't know. That's right. I don't know what color he is. And, and I really don't care. Amen. If he is black, his color didn't do anything for me, I still have problems. Right. Is that right, Isaac? Amen. If he is white, his whiteness didn't do anything for you, you still have problems. That's right. So God have it fixed so you cannot associate him to a race. That's right. The book of scripture just says God is a spirit. And they that wish of him must wish of him, not them. That's right. Must wish up him in spirit and in truth. I'm thankful that we are able to do both. We're able to wish up him in spirit because we have the spirit. And we are able to wish up him in truth because God has blessed us with the truth. It's a blessing to see all these men in here. Amen. It's common to see women in the church. Amen. You know, I'm thankful for you too. You know, you know, it's, it's common to see you sisters, but it's a blessing to see so many brothers. Amen. You know, <laughs> I'm I'm very thankful because most religion, in fact, the only religion that I know of that is successful in pulling so many men is Islam. What surprised a lot of viewers is when they see a lot of men where church is. We're not offering you Islam. We're not offering you Baptist. We're not offering you Pentecostal. We're not offering non-denominational. We're offering the religion of God and God only. That's right. Holiness. I am not the founder. No. I just want to take my time and soak you a little. That's right. I don't want no religion wherein some man is the founder. Man is full of flaws. That's right. And I must admit, man can make some beautiful things. All these new cars that come out for the year 2002, they're going to eventually make a recall to get the bugs out. That's right. Just like they're going to make a recall to get the bugs out, we are recalling religion yeah. because it is infested mm -hmm. with all type of lies and hypocrisy and methods of deceit. Right. So all we have to offer you, brothers and sisters, is the scriptures. Amen. The religion of God, which is holiness. <clears throat> so you may ask, when did it start? Well, to answer that, you must find out when did God start. That's right. There's no beginning to God. Amen. The book of scripture teaches us that from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. That's right. He didn't come from darkness. No. Neither did he come from light. That's right. For scripture teaches us darkness and light are equal to him. That's right. God always was. He is before all things consists. God created the world and then brought man into being and then revealed his divine way to man. When you say religion, religion is simply a spiritual way 
right. That's supposed to connect you to God. That's right. To give all members of the human family of every ethnic group a chance to have a relationship with God, to learn God, submit to God, and let God direct them through divine teaching. That's what religion is supposed to be. Amen. But now you have all these new religions, Johnny come lately. Yeah. You know, religions starting in New York, the Mormons. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my critics say, you know what? He's good, but he just talk about religions too much. They out here. That's right. That's right. You women that go, you know, shop for a refrigerator, refrigerator or a wash machine and dryer, you compare prices and quality. That's right. Even if the price is low but the quality isn't good, you don't want it. That's right. You don't do like many of us men do. We just want to get what we're going to buy and get out. Right. Is that right, brothers? That's right. You go around and squeeze bread and talk the chicken and rub fish. If I'm going to the fish market, my wife said to me, look at the eyes. If they gray, if they look like they got cataracts, don't buy it. Then she say, if it smells too fishy and that's too deep for me because it's fish but a woman is a detailed shopper that's right. more so you must be that way about religion religion eyes are cloudy oh yes the eyes are cloudy because they can't see properly listen brothers and sisters a lot of Writers and I was reading an article in the back room there of some journalist that wrote up a whole page on us in some magazine like we was telling you last night and uh, drew some type of cartoon of me and laid me out. And basically he felt the same way that many people feel who really don't know us. They say I'm mean and hateful and don't preach with love. No, we are direct precise to the point and don't play with you with the Bible. And the only ones that feel as though we are mean and hateful are religious spoiled brats. That's right. That's all. That's all that is. People have been spoiled by religion for years. Satan have designed religion to pamper, to pet, and to justify folk in their wickedness. That's right. Where God's way is totally the opposite. It doesn't pamper you. That's right. It doesn't justify no wickedness in anyone. Amen. It condemns us when we are wrong in anything Amen. or in any form. That's right. And then it reproves us, chastises us, corrects us, then give us the chance to start fresh. Amen. If we are wise enough to want a fresh start. The Lord don't care how much money you have because he owned the universe. He don't care about the car you drive. He don't care about the house you have. None of that impressed the Lord because the Lord giveth. And the Lord taketh away. So our purpose of being here in Chester, as you notice when you came in, you ain't had to pay nothing. You never have to come pay to see and hear what is written in the scriptures. We're not here to entertain you. I'm not an entertainer. Anyone that run up on our program, no, they don't get entertained. They get taught truth. Some get upset. Some cuss us out. Some lay us out. Undoubtedly, some of you that are here now was upset with us when you first seen us and may heard us or watched us a few times. You may have called me some ungodly names. But the Lord forgive you. <laughs> you didn't know no better. There's many folk that are following us that hate us bitterly. They used to hate us bitterly. 
It is easy to hate and retaliate against what you don't understand. That's right. So you hear me speak against church and religion. Yes, I will continue to do so until Chester and the world come to your senses. That's right. And realize your little office as a deacon, your little office as an assistant pastor, your little office as a deaconess. Am I right, I say? Your little office as an organ player and a drummer boy and a Sunday school teacher. Let us remember all those offices are replaced. If you're going to be in anything and do anything, wouldn't you want to have God's approval of what you're in? Or do you want to be in something and brag about it because of the popularity of the leader and the amount of followers that is in that religion? That doesn't mean nothing. The amount of followers doesn't make a religion correct. That's right. Jesus had 12 disciples. That's right. 12. Little small band. That's right. That upset the world. Amen. But what they had was correct. You don't need a billion to turn creation over. God can take one man and get in that man and cause him to cause more trouble in the world than all religions put together. God's way is an eye opener. It is designed to open your eyes because we have been asleep a long time. It scripture says it is high time to wake out of sleep. A lot of us have gotten so comfortable and so at ease and we go to church just because it's Sunday. Routine. I don't want to do anything out of routine. If I'm going to serve God, I want to be committed to him until I die. That's right. I don't want this to be a sometime thing for me. Because the Lord is coming back for us people. Do you understand? The God of heaven. Not some painting on your wall. No. Not some image on a cross. Christ is not on no cross no more. So no church or no home should have a cross with the image on it. That image is idolatry. I tell the church, even if you have fans, you know, a lot of funeral homes give you fans. I remember one hot summer in Florence, South Carolina, we was just happened to teach on that. And I noticed folks was fanning and the image kept going before me. Little picture supposed to be Jesus knocking on the door. Well, I had to get the ushers to collect all that. And it just had to suffer in the heat. Amen. Because the Lord said, make no image of me. That's right. Who told you that he was pale skinned and blue eyed and blind hair and a goatee beard? Who told you that he was black with dreadlocks Amen. and a nappy beard? That's right. Who told you that he looked at Asian and had slanted eyes? See, religion want to make Jesus look just like them so they can claim him. That's right. They want to make the God of heaven like them so they can claim him. And if they can claim him, that will make them think they are superior. Amen. And everybody else is inferior. When I look at everyone in the world, we're all the same thing. Dust. Is that right? Talk to me. That's what all of you are. Everyone, me too. I'm dust. I'm just a dusty preacher. Oh, yes. He's just some old dusty reader. I have a dusty radio announcement. We just dust. And when you die, you go back where God brought you from. So young man and young woman and old man and middle age, you that's laboring to 
like you're going to live here forever, burning in your brain. You're not. And many of us, you ain't prepared to die. Ain't no one in here prepared to die. You got your insurance policy and all that mess, but you ain't prepared to meet God. A man and a woman that's prepared to meet God is a man and a woman that's fully obeying him. When you are fully obeying him, you are striving to make proper preparations. He can come for you without coming for the world. He's coming for people every day. And many that don't believe in God, but yet you believe you're going to die. That's why you have life insurance. You know you're going to leave here. Even folk that have no pain and never been sick got life insurance. Because you know that you're not staying here. Let's get ready to dive into the cookbook of scripture. That's my recipe book here. That's where we get all of our grub. And get all your nutrition here. We don't use no preservatives. We don't use no additives. Everything is clean, wholesome. That's right. I have no written sermon. No. Someone said, "What's that yellow paper?" That's just a reminder from Brother Dan, <laughs> in reference to the Hartsville, South Carolina meeting. Amen. No scripture. No scripture on here. <laughs> October 26, I want to remind you in Hartsville, I'd be there at the um, Hartsville Center Theater, 212 North 5th Street. That's on a Saturday of October 26, meeting at 7 p.m. All the public is welcome, regardless of what religion that you have. You're welcome, free of charge. Your pastor is welcome, your imam, your rabbi. They are welcome. You're welcome to come and question us. Amen. About God's way. Amen. You know it makes me feel so good to, to be able to go anywhere in America and anywhere in the world and ask people, what is your religion? Mm-hmm. And they got to come up with some date That's right. and some man as a founder. That's right. And then I come back and ask them, now where is that in the Bible? That's right. And nobody can find it. Amen. Think of it. Amen. You're giving money all these years to Pope Paul. Yeah. You're praying to Mary and talking to Martha. Mm-hmm. Let's just come back to the Bible. That's, right. That's what the truth of God program is based upon. That's right. Bible. 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 This is a recall. Come back to Bible. That's right. You've been riding long enough. God help your heart forever. Now let's come on back to Bible. Amen. You got your Bibles at home with your family name on it. That don't mean nothing. No. Let's come on back to the thing that your family stamped on. That's right. That's right. Bibles you got in the dashboard of your car. Now it's time to get busy and learn the contents of it. That's right. All right. This is Sunday school now. Amen. We ain't got no little flat book, Sunday school book. Our book is the Bible. Scriptures. We're not breaking no little children's class up. When Jesus come along and gave them fish and bread, he didn't pick out bones for children. No, he didn't. He gave everybody the same thing. Same thing. We got the same thing for everybody that said, regardless of how much money you make a year, the kind of car you drive, the size car or house or your lifestyle, you got to submit and eat the same thing, brother and sister. That's right. I don't care how many men compliment you. There's some worms waiting on you. That's right. And I don't care how conceited and arrogant you think you are because women look at you, fella. Amen. There's some worms reserved for you. That's right. You bear in mind, everybody. Everybody. That's right. Feel pretty nice today. <laughs> everybody. Everybody. In Chester and the world. Amen. You got a God to stand before. That's right. And that's a scary thing when you think of it. Amen. Standing before God. Yes, Lord. Now, sometimes you make them put something over on people. But you can never put nothing over on God. That's right. He know the ending of a thing before it begins. That's right. That's right. What is it about you that God has to learn? Amen. Who is that deep? Mm-hmm. Who is that intelligent? that intelligent? Who is that wise that God have to figure you out? That's right. There's not enough colleges in the world. That's right. 
that can teach a man or a woman how to evade God. Amen. God is the best knower. Oh, yes. He is the greatest mind. Go ahead. All the minds in the world, Go ahead. God can turn all their wisdom backward, backward. and the scripture says make their knowledge foolish. foolish. For that cause, I must rely on God for my wisdom. That's right. I have never enrolled in some Bible school. Go ahead. I don't need Go a Bible school. That's right. School don't make preachers. That's right. School makes students. Amen. God made the prophets. Amen. God made the apostles. Amen. And if God made them then, it takes God to make them now. Yeah, that's right. Are you listening? That's right. A lot of churches teach their young ministers to be a better spokesman. Go ahead, go ahead. Go to school. Right. So they teach you how to entertain and how to excite the people. Mm -hmm. I didn't come here to excite Chester. Amen. We came to give Chester insight. Mm -hmm. Not excitement, but insight. That's right. That the more you understand God, the better you can understand yourself. That's right. What good is going to church for years and years and years carrying a Bible that you don't understand? Amen. Don't even know who God is. Amen. You got Trinity, three gods. Three gods. Some got a black God. Some got a white one. That's right. You're praying to Mary. Mary been dead. Don't know you. You don't know her. That's right. That's right. Think of it. Amen. So when they hear me talk like this, they say, he, he, hate people. No. Oh, no. I'm just trying to show you if it's not in the Bible. That's it. Get away from it. Get away from it. Is that right? That's right. That's right. If it's not in the Bible, That's right. why profess it? Amen. Now, religion is equal to a $3 bill. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, if you don't want to carry a lot of ones, <laughs> and you say, you know what? I'm going to print. I'm going to make some threes <laughs> and some sixes. And a few nines. Amen. Not by government permission. Mm -hmm. You print it up. That's unlawful. Now who would accept it but a fool? But a fool. That's what religion have done. Do you see what I'm talking? Forges. They have took it upon themselves. Forgers of lies. They have forged. Now let me get Bible for this. Follow me in your Bible. In Job chapter 13. Yes. And begin reading at verse 4. All right. But ye are forgers of lies. <laughs> Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Ye are forgers. Ye are forgers of lies. What is forgery? Forgery. When something is printed unlawful. That's right. To try to imitate that which is real. Amen. Put it on the market to deceive those that's not wise enough to distinguish the imitation that's right. from the real thing. That's right. Like men that print money. Mm-hmm. The objective is to look like they have a whole lot of money. That's why if you take note now, when you go buying something, they take a $20 bill, $50 bill, or 100 what they do, put it to the light. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. The book of scripture says, That's right. He that doeth truth come to the light. To the light. That's right. That is, these might be made manifest. They are wrought in God. So what they want to do, they want to see is this. Money is real, so we can't look in the dark. No. Because if we function in the dark and go by the way it feels, right. we can be deceived. That's right. That's right. So if you were in some religious setting mm -hmm. and judging it to be correct because the way it makes you feel, Amen. you can be deceived. That's right. So now what you got to do, take that religion. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. And to hold the light. it to the light. Come to the light. That's right. This is what we're doing. That's right. We're taking the religions of all creation. Amen. 
and holding it Amen. to the light. To the light. That's right. And we're judging the religion by the light. By the light. That's right. And if the light of God did not shine in that religion, Go ahead. Go ahead. then we will shoot that religion to pieces. Go ahead. It's counterfeit. That's right. That's right. It's forgery. Forgery. That's right. That's all it is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, if you, we, we love our mothers. Go ahead. Go ahead. But if my mama come with a three dollar bill, Amen. Because I love her, don't make the three dollar bill real. real. That's right. In other words, many of our families, Amen, are in religions that have never been in the Bible. That's right. And we feel as though that religion is true because. Our mother is in it, mm -hmm. our father, mm -hmm. our grandfather. They came up through the family tree. That's right. Trees are made to be cut. Amen. And we feel as though that religion is right. That's right. Mm -hmm. I had a Hispanic brother come to the temple, I believe, last week. Mm -hmm. And he got a chance to have something to say. He said, you know... I'm thankful that God blessed me to catch your program. He said, you caught my attention. Mm -hmm. And he said, my eyes came open. And he said, it is hard for me to push aside what I've been taught all my life. And now I realize all my life I've been lied to. Amen. Forgery. Forgery. Mm -hmm. Millions of people sincere, mean what they're doing. That's right. God fearing. Mm -hmm. They want to be biblically correct. Amen. But now there's a news bulletin. That's right. Coming across the screen. That's right. You can hear it interrupting your program. Right. Amen. Repent. Repent. That's right. Because there's a false relief. There's a plague. That's right. There's a plague that's out. It's out. I see people coming down with. Fossilitis. That's right. That's right. And you're breaking out with fossilitis. Breaking out with it. You got the measles, chicken pox, small pox. They break out with Baptist, Methodist, mm -hmm. Presbyterian, Lutheran, mm -hmm. Ku Klux Klan, Mormon, Amen. Jehovah Witness, mm -hmm. Hebrew Israelite, yeah. non denominational, Pentecostal. Right. Breaking out. Breaking out with it. Gay and lesbian churches. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Breaking out. That's right. Now we got the antidote. Amen. A shot of scripture. Go ahead. Huh? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. We want to give you a shot of scripture. That's right. Don't tell me what you've been raised. I'm not interested in that. Amen. What I'm interested in is the scripture. If you're not going to believe the scripture, stop going to church. That's right. That's right. You mean to tell me I've been a Baptist 40 years and I'm wrong? Yes. Yes, that's right. I mean, how plain can we make it? That's right. My vocabulary, I'm not using large words. No, no. Yes. Amen. If you are Baptist, if you're anything else other than what God is, holy. Holy. You're wrong. You're wrong. That's right. That's Just right. that simple. That's right. You're wrong. Amen. So I say, well, where's your love? <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. If you're anything else other than what <laughs> the Lord is, my friend, my friend. My friend. <laughs> you're wrong. That's right. Now, does that make you any more right? Right. Amen. Amen. When the Lord appeared in the heavens, yeah. And the book of scripture says, be ye holy for I am holy. I'm holy. I'm holy. But yet you got something else. That's right. And my argument with the reverends and the bishops and the pastors Amen. and the deacons, my argument is simple. Amen. Show me in the Bible your right to exist. That's right. That's right. Just run to the Bible. That's right. The That's Bible right. said, bring forth your strong oh, reason. Reasons. That's right. Come on, brothers, let's reason, reason, reason together. 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 That's right. Let the Baptist, the Pentecostal, the non-denominational, the Catholic, the Presbyterian, the Lutheran, mm -hmm. the Episcopalian, the Masons, the Elks. Amen. Reason together. Come on around, Knights of Columbus. That's right. Amen. Let's come around the table. That's right. And let us produce scripture mm -hmm. 
for our existence. That's right. That's right. That sound good, don't it? Amen. Amen. You can't find that stuff in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Flush it. Flush it. Huh? Flush it. That's Flush right. it. That's right. Now you listen to the old troublemaker. That's right. The scripture says what? But ye are forgers of lies. Forgers. 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 Amen. Innocent people are given hope and lies. That's right. Mary's in heaven. Mm -hmm. You become a saint when you die. When you die. Mm -hmm. Rosary chains. God's way don't consist of good luck charms. No. No, no. We don't use chains, rabbit foots. Mm -hmm. We don't get on television like so-called Reverend Ike and other false prophets and tell you take your hand. That's and right. trace it on a piece of paper. That's right. And mail him the hand. That's right. And then when he receive it, he'll put his hand on that hand so you will touch and agree. And whatever you waiting for from God, Amen. you will get it. Liar. Liar. Amen. That's right. That's right. Religion That's right. is the largest racket mm -hmm. in the world. Amen. Not the mafia. No. Religion. That's right. Because religion is set up just like crack houses. Mm -hmm. To better understand it, mm -hmm. the one who is the supplier, he supplied the local one so they can sell and distribute the crack. That's right. Some open up a house to make a whole laboratory. That's right. So it can keep trickling into the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Now, regardless of where you go in that neighborhood or out the neighborhood, mm -hmm. if they're selling the same stuff, you get the same results. Amen. High, half dead, skinny, <laughs> closer to the grave. That's right. That's right. And that's what Satan have done with preachers. Merchants, Merchants. of death. That's right. that's right. They sell you religion to give you a temporary excitement and right. and through covetousness listen in second peter chapter 2 and at verse 3 follow me and through covetousness through covetousness shall they with fain shall words they with fain words make merchandise make merchandise of you of you that's right that's right they make merchandise of merchandise. you. They make fools of you and make you believe mm. God is based upon a buck. That's right. Don't misunderstand me. It takes finance to run anything. Amen. But you don't have to take God and make him some type of item. That's right. To sell him. That's right. Merchandise. Merchandise. Mm -hmm. God is free. Amen. That's it right. is written, come ye and drink. drink. Right. Mm -hmm. Everyone. Everyone. Everyone that thirsty. Everyone that thirsts, whether you have money or not, the scripture says, come ye. Everyone that thirsts. Everyone that thirsts. Come ye to the water. Come ye to the water. And he that hath. And he that's a millionaire. And he that hath no money. Amen. He Amen. that had the $20 prayer line. And he that hath no money. That's right. Do you hear this? In Isaiah 55 and verse 1. Ho, he that have no money. He that hath no money, come ye. If you don't have a dime. That's right. The greatest offering that you can give. Amen. Is this. That's right. But many don't want to offer up themselves because God demands for a strict sacrifice. Amen. The book of scripture teaches us in the 12th chapter of Romans. Mm -hmm. Now I beseech you, brethren. That's right. By the mercy of God. That ye present your that bodies. That ye present, present. 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 That's right. That means come willingly. Willingly. Amen. Huh? That's right. Come willingly. That ye present. Present your bodies. Bodies. A living sacrifice. What kind? Holy. What? Holy. What kind did it say, Chester? Holy. What kind? Holy. What kind? Holy. Holy. When you present your body. That's right. As a living sacrifice. Holy. Holy. Acceptable. Then what God wants to do with your body. Mm -hmm. Is opposite from what other religions have in store. That's for right. your body. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. For what? 
rules and bylaws and regulations and standards that God has set yeah. for your body, which is your temple. Amen. Religion of man mm -hmm. don't have those stipulations and rules set. No. Because when God gets the body, the body. Mm -hmm. He demands that the body, the whole body, whole body. That's right. Submit and follow That's right. his divine will. All right. Amen. Now, one of the greatest forms of pain that God offers hmm. is self-denial. Oh, yes. Self-denial right. is self-destruction. That's right. Is that right? That's right. That's right. In churches today, the teaching of self-denial is not taught. No. The teaching is, there's no harm to sin as long as you don't overindulge. Amen. And there's some sins that God will just turn his back on. His back, that's right. Overlook it. Overlook it. That sounds nice, don't it? Mm -hmm. You wish it was true, don't wish you? It was. Don't you wish that was on the real? That's right. But it isn't, is it? No, it's not. Why? It's not written. That's right. Forgery. That's Forgery. all that is. Forgery. So the act of self-denial mm -hmm. is when I'm told I must do and live mm -hmm. in a manner that's contrary mm -hmm. to the norm. That's right. I must live in a manner that's contrary to the life I'm used to living. That's right. And that life is abnormal. A holy life is an abnormal life. Amen. Because it is a life where one afflicts themselves by choosing the way of God. What you mean self-affliction? Mm -hmm. Self-affliction is self Denial when I deprive myself. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. When I deprive myself. That's right. Of every form of pleasure that I'm used to doing and want to do, I abstain from it and cling to God. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Then say Jesus. But now, when I venture out to cling to God. Yeah. I got to deal with withdrawal symptoms. That's right. The want That's to it. go back. That's right. Where I was. That's right. So I fight, fight. to stay out the bar. Amen. The liquor become tempting, but I want right. to get closer to God. That's right. And if I go back to the bar, go it'll ahead. bring separation. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. God. go ahead. Between me and God. That's right. So in order for me to deal properly with divine withdrawal symptoms. My Lord. You got to be in a divine rehabilitation center. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yes. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got to be in a divine rehab. That's right. You know, when the natural men and women that have drinking problems and, you know, drug abuse, mm -hmm. they go to a rehab. Yeah. Sit in a circle. Like I said last night, they just talk. Talking. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it, it makes them feel good to vent yes. for that time. Mm -hmm. But uh, you need more than a ventilation shaft. More than that. That's right. You know, some ventilation shafts that blow air have a filter built in it. That's right. Because sometimes when air is blowing, mm -hmm. it can blow bad air. Amen. Full of germs. Amen. But the purpose of putting the filter is to trap the germs. That's right. So nothing but pure, wholesome air can come. That's right. And no germs pass through the ventilation shaft to right. make you ill. That's right. Do you get what I'm talking? Amen. So in a divine rehabilitation center, mm -hmm. the air that is passed Pass. That's right. is the spirit of God. That's right. Go that ahead. same spirit that moved upon the face Go of ahead. the deep Jesus breathed Hallelujah. Amen. And right. shadow you. Glory receive to God. And say, receive ye 
the Holy Ghost. That's it. So now you got a pure, that's right, clean, amen, infallible wind. That's right. That's right. Blown from the heavens. That's right. Go to God. Amen. And it comes Russian. out of the mouth. Go ahead. Of a ventilation shaft. Go ahead. God used a fleshy go ventilation ahead. shaft. Go ahead. To blow. Blow. Go ahead. Wisdom. Amen. Go to God. Amen. And knowledge. That's right. And divine understanding. That's right. For the purification of a people. Go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead. You can't do this on your own. No, no. No way. Some folks say, oh, I sit home. I got religion. You ain't got nothing. Nothing. That's right. You don't have religion. No, you don't. If you don't have God way, you don't have I divine know. religion. That's right. Everything man started have problems. Amen. It fails. fails. Uh, have flaws. Amen. Mistakes. Mm -hmm. The way of God is perfect. That's right. No problems in him. No, no. There's no problem in his divine way. That's right. The problem is in us. It's in us. Amen. It always was and always will be. That's right. So when we come to the rehabilitation center, mm -hmm. the body of Christ. That's it. Now you got to get injected. Mm -hmm. Addicted. Because you're addicted to something. That's right. And when you become addicted, you need more than a circle of talking. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. Listen at the scriptures. In First Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 15. What is it? And that they have addicted themselves. Do you hear this? Amen. You hear this? And that they have addicted themselves. Oh, it's beautiful how all this stuff is in the scriptures. Amen. Amen. They have addicted themselves. To the ministry. To the ministry. Of the saints. You see that? That's right. It's like I said last night, I, I'm, I'm addicted. With, addicted with it. I'm a junkie with this. That's right. I God, I've been shooting up almost 30 years. Go ahead. Long time. You know, I've met some men. Go ahead. Go ahead. When they don't even take a drink. Go They've ahead. been drinking so long, they still drunk. That's right. That's right. Go they ahead. even got the drunk look. Amen. They speak to slur when they haven't had no liquor. That's right. Listen, brothers and sisters, you're killing your temple. Amen. Drinking, smoking, mm -hmm. partying, drugs, yeah. gambling. That's and right. then you go to church on Sunday because it gives you a good feeling. No! I am pained at my very heart. That's right. Do you hear the book of Scripture? In Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 19. The prophet says, I am pained. I am hurting. At my very heart. At my heart. My heart. My heart. Maketh a noise make in me. A noise. A noise in me. In me. I cannot hold my peace. What do you mean, prophet? Go ahead. There's something irregular. That's right. Causing my heart to function in a way it didn't used to function. That's right. And a lot of time your indulgence and wickedness mm -hmm. have made your heart, heart a heart of stone. That's right. You That's become right. hard-headed. Amen. Self-will. That's right. Rebellious. Mm -hmm. No one can tell you nothing. Amen. You use the Bible as nothing but a mask. That's right. As a front. That's right. As to hide your real hypocrisy. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead. If you want to walk with God, you Amen. must wash thine heart. Deny yourself. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And when you begin denying yourself, you begin to slowly but surely abstain from all the wickedness that you love to do. That's right. Amen. So now, mm. my brother, go ahead, go ahead. Those cigarettes, oh. you got to lay down. Amen. There ain't no such thing as a Christian cigar sucker. No. Walking around like a human chimney. <laughs> That's right. That's right. A Christian cigar sucker. Amen. A Christian drinker. A Christian drunk. Christian drunk. A Christian alcoholic. That's right. Am I right? That's right. A Christian cigarette smoker. Amen. A Christian snorker. Amen. Go ahead. A Christian lottery player. That's right. A Christian dating service. That's right. A Christian comedy club. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. What's the matter with these people? How long shall I see the they standard? They took Satan and tried to integrate That's him it. with God. That's right. And they're laboring by trying not to let it be a difference between light That's right. and darkness. That's right. So the prophet said, woe unto them. Mm-hmm. They're called good evil. Good evil. And evil, evil good. good. That's right. Woe unto them that call light darkness and darkness light. The Lord said, woe unto you. Woe unto you. That's right. Woe unto them. So God tells Musa, mm-hmm. which is Moses. That's right. Tell the people. That's right. Put a difference. That's right. Put a between difference. Between holiness. And unholy. And unholiness. And between unclean. That when I come. Go ahead. I know what's mine. That's right. That's right. You can't get my people mixed up with nobody. That's right. How is it called? Difference. They walk different. That's right. Talk different. That's right. Look different. Go ahead. Act different. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening to me? That's right. That's right. Their heart is different. Heart is different. You so-called Christians that gamble, Amen. play the lottery, mm-hmm. got a bar in your house. Yes. You living with some man that's not your husband or woman that's not your wife? That's right. Christian. Christian. Mm-hmm. Christian means my behavior is like Jesus. That's right. He didn't do that. <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't do that. No, he didn't. Listen at the book of scripture. In Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 21. Listen. How long shall I see the standard? How long shall I see the standard? And hear the sound of the trumpet. And hear the sound mm-hmm. of the trumpet. For my Hold it. Amen. I just don't want to read. I want to break this break stuff down. down. That's right. Doesn't mean someone is actually blowing the trumpet. No. Trumpet is a voice. That's right. God said to the prophet Isaiah, so Isaiah, mm-hmm. lift up thine voice like as that. a trumpet and show mm-hmm. my people their transgression. Their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. sins. But why mm-hmm. call it a trumpet? A trumpet. The material of a trumpet in most time is brass. That's right. Brass is taken out of a stone of according earth. to the book of Job. That's right. It jo- says brass is molten out of the stone. Out of a stone. That's so right. the stone that have the brass <laughs> is formed in the earth. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. Glory to God. Go ahead. In the days of the prophet Moses, mm-hmm. who was a representative in the Old Testament as the Messiah. That's right. Oh, yes, he was. That's right. Moses said, God going to raise up a prophet like, like me. me. And him shall you hear in all Thanks. things. That's right. Do you understand? Go ahead. So here come Moses in the wilderness. Mm-hmm. And the children of Israel begin to become rebellious. Amen. God told Moses, make a brazen, brazen serpent. serpent. Mm-hmm. This is after God sent fiery serpents That's right. among the people mm-hmm. to bite them. That's right. So to get delivered from the bite, mm-hmm. God told Moses, make a brazen serpent. Fiery serpent. A serpent out of brass. That's right. And put it on a pole mm-hmm. and hoist it up. That's right. And whoever will look at the serpent. Will live. We'll live. We'll live. They will be healed mm-hmm. of the bite. That's right. Brass mean healing or deliverance. That's right. If you notice when John was on the Isle of Patmos, mm-hmm. God appeared to him. That's right. He said his feet Not and his arms are the color of polished brass. That's right. As if it had been tried in the, fire. in the fire. That didn't mean God was black. That's right. No. That's right. You got to know what is the brass represent. That's right. Brass means deliverance. Deliverance. Brass means he's a healer. That's right. For when they made the serpent from brass mm-hmm. and looked at it, they were delivered from the bite. From the bite. That's right. Now, mm-hmm. here we are. Amen. That's right. God. That's right. Here we are now. Amen. Created in darkness mm-hmm. by the power of light. That's right. For the bodies of our mother is a dark place. Dark place. That's right. But it is light that is in there creating us. That's right. Huh? That's right. So now here come God bringing us. Go ahead. From the grave. That's right. Out of the earth. Someone say, oh yes. That's right. 
we was resurrected from the earth. That's right. We came from the grave. That's right. Just like when Jesus rose and the stone was moved away, when the woman body ran in place of a child, the womb expands. That's right. Like the opening of a sepulchre. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the life preach that come out from darkness. Go ahead. Into outer darkness. Lord, go ahead. Do you understand? Preach that. Go ahead. And now it must learn go ahead, go the ahead. light of God. Go ahead. I hope you can get this. Go ahead. We were bitten, bitten. by the serpent. That's right. Who is the serpent? Satan. Satan. That's right. I believe the Hebrews call him Abaddon. Abaddon. The Greeks call him. Apollyon. Apollyon. The Arabs call him the Shaitan. That's right. The scripture often call him the wicked one, the accuser of the brethren. Mm -hmm. The brethren. Then it says that old, old serpent. serpent. Mm -hmm. Not just serpent, old, but that old, old serpent. serpent. Mm -hmm. Old serpent. That's right. Serpent is describing his character. That's right. For serpent means his subtle, subtle and his ability to seduce, trick. Old serpent means he's a master. That's right. At what he does. Amen. For he has been of old a liar mm -hmm. from the beginning. From the beginning. That's right. So here we were bitten, bitten with by the serpent, mm -hmm. and the venom contaminated all of us. That's right. Until we were born in the world of sin, it's shaped in iniquity. in iniquity, fashioned in lust. That's right. So just said the serpent was lifted up in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. The Lord our God come along and say, if I, if I be lifted be up, lifted up from the earth, from the earth, I will draw, I will draw all men, all men unto me. So just as they in the old had to look at the serpent and be healed, healed. That's right. You must look unto God. Isaiah said, all the ends of the oh, earth, that's and right. be ye saved. That's right. Go ahead. Do you understand? And as Moses. Listen. In St. John 3 and verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Lift up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man. Even so must the Son of Man. Be lifted up. Must. Must. Be lifted up. That's right. So when we go through the stages of self-denial, mm -hmm. and anyone in here that's trying to live for God can bear witness. Amen. You got all kind of withdrawal symptoms. Oh, yes. Why you're fighting to keep from That's right. going, That's right. saying, thinking, touching, doing. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Amen. But when you try to do it on your own, mm -hmm. it'll never get done. Never get done. So I must be in a divine rehabilitation center. That's right. Because the greatest rehabilitation that takes place must take place first within. Amen. Your mind must get right. That's right. That's right. If your mind is not right, mm -hmm. it's like the prison. Anyone can go to prison. Mm -hmm. Prison don't rehabilitate a man. No. A man must strive to rehabilitate himself when he's in prison. That's right. Because prison is not going to change. I'm change comes from when here. That's right. You don't need to go to jail to change. No. You need God to change. But be ye transformed. The Bible says, listen. In Romans chapter 12 and at verse 2. Be ye transformed. By the renewing. By the what? By the renewing. Of what? Of your mind. All right, hold it. Amen. Why do your mind need to be renewed? renewed. Because it's old and wicked. <laughs> That's right. You go right. buy a 1937 Stutz Bearcat. Mm-hmm. Rust, mm -hmm. tires all flat. <laughs> Someone who don't know what you have and look at you and say, "Man, you crazy! <laughs> you put you bought that mess." Mm -hmm. But you know you got a diamond <laughs> and the rough. And the rough, that's right. But it must be restored. That's right. Is that right? That's right. It must be renewed. Renewed. That's right. It must be refreshed. Amen. So the renewing process takes what? Dedication. That's right. 
And sometimes while you're laboring to renew it and to restore it, mm -hmm. you get tired, you become frustrated, because sometimes you have to wait for parts that you order. That's true. And it should have been there to your expectation, but it ain't there. That's right. So you wait. Wait. That's right. Go ahead. You follow me. <laughs> That's right. So the process of the renewing of the mind. Mm -hmm. You got things on order that you want from God. That's right. And you feel as though that it's taking too long, so you wait. Wait, wait, wait on the Lord. Now, what you do is when you make a mess, mm -hmm. is when you go get in the natural other parts. That's right. That's not designed for the Stutz Bear Cat. That's right. And add it to the car. Mm -hmm. And it lower the value. And it don't run correctly and lower the performance. That's right. So it's best that you wait. Wait on the Lord. Oh, you change the car. That's right. And let all your parts. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. They get this temple running correctly. Go ahead. Wait, wait. for the parts. That's right. That only God has engineered. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. Only God can engineer what goes in the mind, what Go ahead. goes in the heart, Go ahead. what goes in the soul, what goes Go in the spirit. Amen. God engineer those parts. That's right. We become frustrated. That's right. Because the master builder taking too long. That's right. So we reach out. That's right. Upon our own ability. That's right. And get what we don't need. That's right. And we are deceived by the way it make us feel because we think we're running now right. Rightly. Amen. Until time go by. Mm -hmm. And you broke down again. I had faith. Because you lead to your own understanding. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. In Psalms 27 at verse 13. Everybody all right? Amen. Amen. Listen. I had fainted. I have fainted. Unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord. Can you hear that? Amen. Oh, yes. I have fainted. 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 Given up. That's right. Years ago, if I would have given up. I would never have have met any of you in here. No, you no. have never. You would have never heard of us. No. Because years ago in my teens, coming up in falsehood, mm -hmm. I was strongly ridiculed when the Lord started to deal with me to open my understanding. Amen. People was told not to talk to me. Hmm. Preacher told me if you preach this stuff. Even if it is in the Bible, I will throw you out. That's right. He said, if it's Bible, I don't preach it, you can't preach it. Mm -hmm. So, he set me down for two years. Amen. Not for wrong, for right. Yeah. If you buff it for your fault, take it patiently. That's right. I learned that God will. Bring you from the bottom and promote you to the top. That's right. At the time that he wants you to be there. Amen. Don't put yourself there. No, no. If you put yourself there, you jump ahead of God, mm -hmm. and then God is going to take you down from there. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. So, patiently waiting, mm -hmm. patiently sometimes. Amen. I did other times impatient. That's right. Because when you are struggling with something in self, Amen. and you know that if the Lord come for me now, I cannot make it right. with this hanging on me. That's right. But the question is, how bad, how bad do, you want do I want that thing off, or what am I willing to sacrifice to get it off? That's right. Brothers and sisters, Anyone mm -hmm. that have a design to walk with God, mm -hmm. you will never do it without paying the price. Amen. You're going to have to give up something. Yeah. And don't be surprised what you're going to have to give up. That's right. Come on. Somebody say, well, what, what am I going to have to give up? You're going to have to give up everything that God is against. Amen. Everything. Everything. 
I don't care what it is and who it is. Who it is. That's right. You're going to have to give up everything that God is against. If any man will come after Listen. me. Listen. In Matthew 16 and verse 24. The Messiah declared. If any man. If any man. Will come after will me. Will come after me. Let him deny let himself. Let him deny himself. And take up his cross. Take up his cross. And follow me. Hold it. Let a man go buy a chain and with a cross and put it around your neck. No, no, no. No. No, no. Let us evaluate the cross. The cross. The cross has four directions. Mm -hmm. It's shaped like the letter T. Mm -hmm. North, south, east, west. That's right. One part is vertical. Another part is horizontal. That's right. But he that was on the cross certainly would affect the four corners of the earth. Of the earth. That's right. That's why in the book of Ezekiel, mm -hmm. the son of Bullseye, Amen. he was by the river of Chabar. Of Chabar, that's right. And he said, I saw visions, visions. plural, of God as four living creatures. Living creatures. Living creatures. And the four living creatures have four faces, four faces on, each on each side. That's right. But it was visions of God. Of God. Listen. In Ezekiel chapter 1 and at verse 3. Follow me. The word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest. The word of the Lord came to Ezekiel the priest. The son of Buzai. The son of Buzai. In the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chabar. Yes. And the hand of the Lord was there upon him. Uh -huh. And I looked and behold a whirlwind came out of the north. God first appeared to the prophet as a whirlwind out of the north. A great cloud. A great cloud. And a fire enfolding fire itself. enfolding itself. And a brightness was about it. Uh -huh. And out of the midst thereof as the of amber out of the midst of the fire. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. This is what they look like. They had the likeness of a man. Yes. As for the likeness of their faces. As for the likeness of their faces. They four had the face of a man. They four. Four. That's right. That's right. They four. They four. Go ahead. That's right. One beast. That's right. But have four faces on each side. Four faces. Everyone. Listen. Everyone. What is it? And everyone. And everyone. Had four faces. Had four faces. And everyone. And everyone. Had four wings. Had four wings. Had four wings. As for the likeness. As for the appearance. Of their faces. Of their faces. They four. They four. Had the face of a man. Listen. Amen. They four had the face of of a man. Of a Here man. you have one beast. Come here, you four brothers. Stand over here. One beast. Mm -hmm. You brothers face me. Face of a man. Face of a man. What else? And the face of a lion on the right side. And now the face of a lion. Come here, you four brothers. From Stuart over here. Come on, brothers. Get right here. Mm -hmm. Here you had four faces. Four faces. All the same thing, a lion. That's right. Where? On the right side. On the right side. And they four. And they four. Had the face of an ox. Now here you got four, the face of what? Of an ox. Come here, you four brothers. Right here. <laughs> Come here, you brothers. Stand right here. All four now. Amen. Right there. Mm -hmm. They four had the face of what? Had the face of an ox. Of an ox. And what else? On the left side. On the left side. They four they also, also had the face of an eagle. Of a what? Of an eagle. <laughs> Come here, you four brothers. From Brother Williams on over. Brother William, this brother, that brother, and this brother right here. Come here, brothers. Face of an eagle. Come up here, brothers. You brothers Amen. get behind me. Mm. They four had the face of... Face of an eagle. Of an eagle. That's right. We got ox, mm -hmm. lion, eagle, man, and man. That's right. But visions of God. Visions of God. But it was talking about the attributes of God. That's right. But the reason why it would be four faces of the same thing on each side, mm -hmm. because the four represent the four corners of the earth. That's right. And the different faces will show the different effects that God will have in his character That's by right. affecting the four corners of the earth. First, face of a man. Face of a man. Well, to be a face of a man, go ahead, go ahead. God is not a man go ahead. that he should lie. Mm -hmm. So I will make a man child. That's right. 
And then the man child will take on my name, Go ahead. Jesus. Go ahead. Then it will function in my capacity, Christ. Go ahead. Then the Bible said he took upon him the form, form of, a servant. of a servant. That's right. The face of a man means he had favor with God. That's right. What else? And the face of a lion on the right face side. Of a lion. That's right. Now here you got four faces. Of a lion on the right side. On the right side. Go ahead. The lion ahead. of the tribe of Judah. Go ahead. And the root of David. Root of David. Have prevailed. prevailed in the animal world. The lion is considered the king. King. That's right. The scripture says, "Who is he that is born king?" That's right. Go ahead. You understand? Go ahead. Then the Bible talk about as a lion's well. Well, that's right. What else he said? And they four had the face of an ox on the face left side. Of an ox. An ox. That's right. Here I got an ox. Go ahead. Sacrifice or often thou wouldest not, not, but a body, a ox, represents sacrifice. That's right. John said, Behold, the Lamb, the Lamb of God. God. That's right. What you mean, Behold, the sacrifice of God. That's right. And what else? And they four also had the face of an eagle. The face of an eagle. An eagle is a highly exalted bird. Go ahead. Lift it up. Amen. Good eyesight. Go ahead. The Bible said the eyes of the Lord run to, to and, and fro. fro. Oh. And to all the earth. That's right. Did you say so? Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. You understand? Go ahead. Go so ahead. here you have one God. That's right. Show the face of a man, mm -hmm. face of an ox, Go ahead. face of an eagle. Yet God is not a man. That's right. God is not an ox. That's right. But he's showing what he would do to save and redeem man. Go ahead. God used many shapes. That's right. Many forms. That's right. Through the preaching of the prophets. That's right. Give me the book of the prophet Hosea. Amen. Follow me in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. In Hosea chapter 12. Listen. And at verse 10. Listen closely. I, I have also spoken. God said, I have also spoken. By the prophets. By the prophets. And I have multiplied. And I have multiplied. Visions. Visions, plural. At Vision and you similitudes and you similitudes similitudes are shapes, mm -hmm. forms, mm -hmm. fashions, figures, mm -hmm. images by the ministry by the ministry of the prophets. Amen. God showed Himself in many forms. That's right. Not that He was those things. That's right. That's right. But those things represent something. Wonderful. Wonderful. Are you listening? Amen. It's like Satan. Mm -hmm. The Bible describes him in many forms. That's right. Great red dragon. That's right. When he was cast out of heaven mm -hmm. and fell to the, earth, to the earth, the book of scripture says, with his tail, mm -hmm. he drew third a part. third part of the stars. stars. That's right. To better understand it, as I often say, in the study of Egyptology, mm -hmm. The Egyptians left their history written on the pyramids and on the inside of them. That's right. It wasn't words. That's right. It was symbols and pictures. Mm -hmm. But it was called what? Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. The Bible, the scriptures is full of divine hieroglyphics, symbols, That's right. images, mm -hmm. shapes, mm -hmm. but had a divine representation. That's right. Satan is not a dragon. No, no, no. Satan don't have scales. No. And Satan don't have a tail. That's right. But the book of scripture plainly states with his tail. Notice the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 12 and at verse 4. Listen that. The scripture talks symbolic. And his tail. His tail. Drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Now hold it. Mm -hmm. It isn't talking about the stars that shine that night. No. But the stars is talking about the messengers. The messengers, that's right. You see, John's Lord appeared to John, and in the Lord's right hand, he had seven stars. Seven stars. Which were the seven angels mm -hmm. sent to the seven churches of Asia. That's right. The preacher today is a star. That's right. Now, to better understand it, the Lord said, if I tell you earthly things that you don't understand, how can I tell you heavenly? Right. So let's understand the earth first. Go ahead. At night, when the sun go down, 
The stars that is in the heaven right. are the reflection of the sun. That's right. But they are seen when darkness overshadowed the earth. Go ahead. If you look closely up in the heavens when a star shines, mm -hmm. some stars shine brighter. Brighter, that's right. Than others. That's right. And there's some even twinkle. Amen. Do you understand? That's right. What do you mean? God gives some stars an ability to reflect the sun right. more than the others. That's right. Yet they all, all reflect the same light. That's right. And yet they're all stars. That's right. But some just a little bit brighter Amen. than the others. That's right. That's a natural solar system. Mm -hmm. Now, glory to God. Go ahead. You have a divine solar system. That's right. The God of heaven call himself a son. For the Lord God. Listen at the scripture. In Psalms 84 and at verse 11. Follow me. For the Lord God. The Lord God is a is son. A son. A Did son. he say he is the son? No. Because the son was created. That's right. He is the S-U-N. S-U-N. Mm -hmm. He is a S U N. A son. Not that God is the sun that you see shining in the morning. No. No. No, no. Because that sun go down and come up. That's right. By God's permission. That's right. That's right. But God bears the title Son. S U N. S U N. So to understand how does that title fit him? Go ahead, go ahead. First find out the function of the sun that he created. That's right. Then you understand his divine function. That's right. Now, the plants, you women that know about plants, if the sun is shining on a certain direction, sometimes your plants shift. Mm -hmm. Am I right, sisters? Go ahead. So sometimes you got to move the pot around. Go ahead. They can go from that way <laughs> and then go back that way. That's right. And then when the sun at the right angle, you move the pot again, then these plants are upright because the sun is designed to resurrect the plants from the dead. Go ahead. You get what I'm talking about. Go ahead. Jesus said those plants that my heavenly father have not planted. That's right. Shall be rooted up. up. Mm -hmm. So just like when night fall on the earth, Amen. the plants bow. That's right. Sleep. That's right. But when the sun come up, the plants are quickened and the head is Go ahead. raised. That's right. Towards heaven. Go ahead. To receive the light. Go ahead. Do you understand? Go ahead. God is a, a son. S U N. That's right. Do you understand? Go ahead. So God, <laughs> He give off light. Go ahead. We are plants. Plants. That's right. In the earth. Amen. But the way God give off light by giving us wisdom, mm -hmm. knowledge, That's right. and divine understanding. Amen. That if our head is raised Amen. towards heaven, yes. you know, plants need water. That's right. In the natural. Amen. They need water and light. That's right. We need water and light. That's right. But the water that we need don't come from earth. Amen. It's living water. Living water. Spake him. Go ahead. Lord to God. He that believeth on me. That living water. That's right. That come from heaven. That's right. He said, He that believeth. At, on me. On me. As the scripture has said. As the scripture has said. Out of his belly. Out of his belly. Of his belly shall, shall flow rivers. No river. Of living water. Lord to God. That's right. Rivers of living water. But this spake he. This spake he of, of the, the spirit, spirit. Which they that believe this on him. This spake he of the spirit. That's right. Right. This spanky of, of the spirit. spirit. Moses said, That's right. my doctrine That's right. shall the steel Go ahead. From, heaven from heaven as the dew That's right. and as the rain upon the, upon the tender herb. The herb. That's right. We are herbs. Go ahead. And we need life. Yes. So the stars that shine at night reflect the sun, the greater light. That's right. Then the preacher, the messenger, God sent him. That's right. In a dark solar system. Go ahead. To reflect the light of God. Amen. So from his mouth, light comes. That's what right. is light symbolic to? Direction. Direction. That's right. The Bible said the interest of thine word giveth light. Giveth light. Now Give hold light. it. Mm -hmm. I can go into the word all I want. That's right. It's like carrying a flashlight. That's right. Don't know how to use the switch. Amen. Don't know how to turn it on. That's right. 
You got the light. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know how it works, how it works, you still in the dark. That's right. Yes, sir. You got the light in your hands. That's right. But if you don't understand the contents of it, you're still in the dark. That's right. So you got to have a divine electrician right. that know how to hook up scripture. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You understand? Amen. He must know how to hook up. That's right. Scripture. That's right. Rightly divide. Rightly divide the scripture. Don't have the prophets contradicting the apostles. That's right. Go ahead. And then that light become turned on. That's right. And shine oh, in yeah. our heart. Amen. And then when that light hit us. Go ahead. Our eyes begin to come open. That's right. Our understanding begin to come open. That's right. Why? Because a great light is now seen. Amen. The dimness begin to clear away. That's right. Otherwise, at night you begin to jump and shout and sing in darkness, in pray darkness. in darkness, give the benediction in darkness, That's and never right. come to light. That's right. For their eyes have they Listen. closed. In Matthew chapter 13 and verse 15. Their eyes. And their eyes they have closed. They have closed. Lest at any time. Lest at any time. They should should see with their they eyes. Should see with their eyes and hear with and their ears. Hear with their ears. And should understand and with should their heart. Understand with their heart. And should be converted. And should be converted. And I should heal them. Do you hear this? Amen. So in the divine solar system, that's what we are. Yeah. God is the sun. He's the sun. He is the one that shine upon us. That's right. Rays of wisdom. That's right. Rays of knowledge. Amen. Rays of understanding. That's right. And he come along and calls the different stars, ministers, mm -hmm. some shine brighter than others. And first Corinthians. Which means some skill is much better than others. That's right. Scriptural term describes the different function of the stars. That's right. Listen in the book of Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 41. Give me uh, first Corinthians chapter 12. Amen. Let's see what God has set some in the church. First Corinthians chapter 12. Listen. I and at verse 28. All right. And God had set some what is it? in the church first apostles. You say an apostle. Mm -hmm. That's like one of them north stars. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He reflect that light beautifully. Beautifully. Amen. He never had to go to school to learn how to preach. That's right. The wisdom of man cannot give him what God want him to have. That's right. When the Peter and John Mm -hmm. The Bible plainly states was ignorant and unlearned men. That's right. But the people had to take note that they been with Jesus. That's right. Jesus was a master teacher. Amen. His flesh was not a teacher. No. The Messiah, that flesh was not the teacher. That's right. God that was in that flesh, that was the teacher. That's right. No man. No man. Is a preacher. Amen. There's one preacher. Amen. And that's God in man. That's right. If that man don't preach God's word, God is not in that man. Not in the man. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. And God had set some in the church first apostles. First apostles. Secondarily prophets. Secondarily prophets. Thirdly teachers. Thirdly teachers. After that. After that. Miracles. Miracles. Then gifts of healing. Gifts of healing. Helps. Helps. Governments. Governments. Diversities, diversities of, tongues of tongues. Are all apostles? No. Amen. Amen. It's asking a question. That's right. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? No, all are not prophets. Everyone ain't sent to bring the message. No. Everybody ain't called and sent by God. No, all are not apostles. No, all are not prophets. Are all teachers? No, all are not teachers. Some need to sit down and need to be taught. That's right. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. What else? Are all workers of miracles? No, all don't work miracles. Have all the gifts of healing? No, all is not able to heal. Do all speak with tongues? No, tongues are for believers. Go ahead. The Go Bible ahead. said, these signs shall follow them that believe. That believe. Go these ahead. signs shall follow them that believe. That believe. If Go you ahead. believe, you will come through speaking in tongues as they deal with their Pentecost. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. Let's hook up scripture. Do all interpret? Do all interpret? No. No. What is an interpreter? Go ahead, man. Glory Go ahead. to God. Go ahead. An interpreter is he that got divine skill Amen. to translate. That's right. The language of scripture. That's right. In other words, when God speak. Go ahead. God give him divine wisdom Preach to that. understand the words 
that is spoken by God. That's right. And to translate them to properly interpret the meaning of them. That's right. So that people can understand. So they read in the book of the law of God. In other words, when the day of the prophet Daniel, writing came upon the wall. That's right. Meany, meany, to kill you for sin. That's right. He called for the Chaldeans, mm -hmm. soothsayers, astrologers, magicians. Amen. He couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. He called his wise men. That's right. Today, the PhDs, That's the right. DDs, right. the LLs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> couldn't read it. All the dumb dogs. That's right. <laughs> All the ones that waste time in Bible school. That's right. And come out more dumber than they were before they went in. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All the wise men. Wise men. They couldn't get what that writing was. The writing. Because the writing was divine. That's right. And these men was carnal. That's right. The carnal mind is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can Neither be. indeed can be. And Brother Paul teaches us the things of God no man know no man. but the Spirit of God. That's Someone right. said, Well, how can you quote that? And you a man understand the things of God no man, no man know, know but the Spirit of God. So the man don't know, but the spirit that's in the man is the all knowing and when the spirit begins to know the spirit teach the man all then things. the man become acquainted with the spirit that's right then he knows that's right but man don't know don't know man go into the bible amen and see jesus praying to the father mm. come out with two that's right man go to the bible that's right see jesus being baptized by jordan mm. a dove land on him a voice talk from heaven come out with three three that's right that's right Amen. Why? The Things book of, of scripture God. is sealed. That's right. To the kernel mind. That's right. In the 29th chapter of the book of Isaiah. Of Isaiah, that's right. Isaiah chapter 29. Follow me. And at verse 11. What is it? And the vision of all. The vision of all. Is become is unto become you. Come unto you. As the words as of a the book. As the words of a book. That is sealed. That is sealed. Which men deliver to one that is learned. Now, here's the book is delivered to someone that's learned, educated. Mm-hmm. But what? Saying, read this, I pray thee. Read it, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot. I can. For it is sealed. Now, many of you read the Bible before you go to bed, don't you? That's right. That's right. Many of you read the Bible through the day, don't you? Mm-hmm. And sometimes once you read, it's still sealed to you. Sealed. You know why? You don't understand. That's right. So to you, it's just a story. Mm-hmm. But when you get a teacher, oh yeah, who's a divine interpreter? Go ahead. Do you understand? Go ahead. Anytime a man takes the scriptures and just Go preach ahead. it from a book of the past, the past, he don't know divine principle. That's right. Amen. The Bible is a book of past, present, and future. That's right. What was, what is now, what is going to be. Amen. Listen. Saying, read this, I pray. Take thee. it to the learned and tell him to read it. And he saith, I cannot. For it is sealed. It's sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not now learned. Now you get someone who's dumb. Saying read. Mm -hmm. One got education. He can't do it. One that don't have education. Let's see what he can do. Saying read this I pray thee. You read it. Come and, on. And he saith I am not learned. I'm not learned. Not learned. What you mean? Not that I didn't go to school. That's right. But God didn't give it to me. That's right. You understand? Amen. See when you have men that to write out sermons and all that stuff. They're trying to preach. <laughs> That's right. They're trying. Their That's right. sermon is a script. That's right. That they're trying to go by. Mm -hmm. They lose the pages. <laughs> they lose the text. Amen. So then their message become incomplete. That's right. They lost page twenty two. <laughs> they stuck. They stuck. <laughs> That's right. This is all we got right here. That's it. In fact, this is enough. This is enough. For some of us, it's too much. Amen. Is that right? That's right. So the scripture, the minister must be a divine interpreter. Yeah. One who's able to interpret the language of scripture. The scriptures, that's right. This is why you often hear me use the term over the air. Get the language of the scriptures. Get mm -hmm. the language of the Bible. Mm -hmm. 
In the days of Daniel, when it came on the wall, many, many to kill you, false sin, none of them can get it. None they had to call me. Daniel. That's right. In fact, a woman suggested to bring Daniel. Now the queen, by the reason of the word. Listen, work, listen. In Daniel chapter 5 and at verse 10. What is it? Now the queen, by now the reason. the queen. By reason of the words by of the king. By reason of the words of the king. And his lords came into the banquet house. And what? And the queen spake and said, O king, live forever. O queen, O king, live forever. Let not thy thoughts trouble thee. Don't be troubled. Nor let, nor let thy countenance be changed. You. Don't be upset. That's right. I can help you. That's right. I got an idea. Amen. Because all these fellas you got, you got the wrong ones. Wrong ones. Just like many of you here, you got the wrong thing. That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh, yeah, you got many, many to kill. You falsing right in front of you, but you don't know what, what, what it means. That's right. You got the Bible right in front of you. You got it right there in right your lap. There. You read it every day, and you walk away assuming it means this and That's assuming right. it means that. The purpose of God sending a man to the people to rob them of all assumptions. That's right. You ain't got to assume right. nothing. That's God right. speak and say it is it that. Is. Amen. Then I and my heart with confidence can say, I believe. That's right. So it is written. Go ahead. Let not and when that belief is challenged, it stands the test. Yes. Go ahead. That's what gives me joy. Wonderful. When holiness is challenged. Amen. Anyone come to me and say, where that stuff you got come from? Yeah. All right. I can tell him it comes from God. From God, that's right. Who started it? Nobody. That's right. How long you been here before the world was? Before, amen. amen. Who had it first? God. God had it. Wonderful. Well, how many followers does it have? You can't count them. That's right. That's right. Next thing you're going to tell me, the animals go by it. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You're right. You're right, amen. This religion tie in sun. That's right. And tie in moon. That's right. Sun and what moon. What do you mean? God never set up a religion Preach that. confined to flesh and blood. Preach it. Go ahead. If holiness means obedience, go ahead. The sun go down sun when God moon. say so. That's right. The moon come up when God say so. Stars of light. The stars shine when God say so. Heaven of heaven. When it hell sleep. Snow, go rain, ahead. rain. Go ahead. Oh, that's obedience. Go ahead. Go to God. Go ahead. You understand? Amen. Go ahead. Holiness ties the universe. Yeah. God said, "Let a star." That's right. Fall from heaven. Fall from heaven. He's the star. Fly through the heaven. That's right. That's right. God said, "Let a meteorite fly through the solar system." Preach that. It comes. That's right. Go ahead. Volcano. I want you to hear up. That's right. Obey me now. Now. That's right. Here it comes. Fire and hell. That's what holiness is. Holiness. Obedience mm -hmm. unto the master of creation. That's it. All these other man-made religions is confined to hard head, stiff neck, rebellious, arrogant, self-righteous, good for nothing, hell deserving man. Amen. Amen. And if you take no God ain't had no trouble till he made man. That's right. Before Adam got here, there were no problems. No problems. All was good. Very good. A cow give milk at the time that God let him give it. Amen. The, the uh, silkworm mm -hmm. releases the silk. That's at right. its appropriate time, the spider spin his web, the snake shed its skin, right. the wildebeest in Africa, the same season and time every year, migrate across the continent, the same trail. That's right. Every year. That's right. But God tells man, go there. Go there. Man. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> God tell man, go there. Well, that way. <laughs> Another way. Another way. That's right. That's the way man is. Amen. So then the book of scripture says it repented. Repented God. Lord. What you mean? God was sorry. Not that he'd done something wrong, yeah. but he was sorry the way man became so rebellious. That's right. And hard headed until man conduct conduct grieved. grieved him. Grieved him at his heart. It grieved him at his heart. At his heart. My Lord. And if you look at the conduct of the human family today, look at the days of Noah. Mm. 
That ark was designed for man's safety to be delivered from the flood. That's right. Who showed greater intelligence? <laughs> Animals. Animals. Animals went in. That dumb man stayed out. Amen. Only ones came in the ark was Noah and his household. That's right. That's Built right. the whole ark for the folks to come in. That's right. But instead of coming in, Bible said they married and given in marriage. Mm. So shall it be when the Son, Son of Man, man come. come. That's right. Just like God had a preacher in Noah's day, right. building an ark for the rescue of the people. Amen. God has sent a Noah of today. That's right. To work, to build a natural fleshy ark. That's right. Because the Lord going to come to put it afloat. Amen. But in order for the people who have the nature of the animals. That's it. That's right. Go ahead. Oh, yes. That's right. You see, when the animals came in, they represent a future people. Amen. Amen. Because if you take note, it was all animals. All. That's right. And the book of Scripture says all nations shall flow to him. That's right. You examine some animal's character mm -hmm. and examine people. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a peacock is a proud bird. <laughs> That's right. Spread his feathers. Mm -hmm. Want you to know how colorful, how colorful I am. Colorful he is. Then he pants. You know? That's right. He pants. That's right. Peacock. Amen. Then what's around? He put his feathers in. Yeah. Stand in profile. Amen. Release him out again. I have to wait some of us off. That's right. You Proud. think you're too devilish cute. Amen. And too handsome. That's right. They give God some time. That's right. But regardless of how many men compliment your compliment. flesh That's and how many good. women cater to you, you just got the breath in your nostrils. That's all. Look at the dog. Amen. Unclean. Mm -hmm. Filthy. Filthy. Don't care. That's right. Fire hydrants are good friends of his. Amen. But when the proclamation was put out, coming to heart, you find the dog coming. The dog came. That's right. But man, That's who right. had the nature of a dog. Amen. The call is made, come to the ark. Mm -hmm. Ark of safety. That's you right. stay out. Stays out. Stay around the fire hydrants. That's right. That's right. Play around the water. Amen. Keep partying. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's right. That's right. Oh, this is good. Amen. Listen. Now the queen, by reason of the words of the king. Give chapter and verse again. Back in Daniel chapter 5 and now at verse 10. The queen, by reason of words of the king. And his lords and came his into lords. the banquet house. Yes. And the queen spake and said, O king, live forever. Live forever. Let not thy thoughts trouble thee. Don't let your thoughts trouble you. Nor let thy countenance be changed. What is it? There is a man in thy kingdom. There is a man. A man. You got to know somebody. That's right. Who's able through divine teaching, mm -hmm. for it is teaching that connects us to God. It is also teaching that get us away from God. That's right. Do you understand? Amen. False teaching separates, separates us from God. That's right. True teaching connect us with God because the more we learn about him, then the better we can serve him. That's right. Listen. There is a man in thy kingdom. There is a man in thy kingdom. Amen. Amen. None between a man and a woman. That's right. Amen. Amen. Not a gay man. No. Amen. Am I right? <laughs> Amen. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. There is a man. A man in thy kingdom. In the kingdom. Mm -hmm. What? In whom is the spirit? This is the ingredients of this man. In whom is the in spirit? Whom, not philosophy is in him. Theology is no. in him. He's a well spokesman. No. In whom is the spirit? In whom is the spirit of, of the, the holy, holy gods. gods? And in the days of thy father. In the days of thine father. Like. like listen. Your father was never, was I believe, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, who was the father of King Belshazzar. That's right. And Nebuchadnezzar's son' name was Belshazzar, and Nebuchadnezzar gave Daniel the name of Belteshazzar. That's right. Listen. And in the days of thy father. In the days when your father was living. Light. This man had light. That means he guided your father. That's right. He guided your father through good information. He was a director. Mm-hmm. 
He had good knowledge. That's right. Listen. And understanding. And understanding. And wisdom. Wisdom. Like the wisdom like of the gods. This man was so deep, his wisdom was like the wisdom of the gods. Was found it in was him. was found in him. Whom the king Nebuchadnezzar thy father. They didn't say that about the astrologers. No. The soothsayers. Oh, no. Or the magicians or the Chaldeans. That's right. Because all they were were well spokesmen who was relying on their book learning. That's right. And that's what you have on television today. Men that just brag about how many degrees that you can go around in churches around the world. Amen. You see the preacher name on the church sign in his letters. DD, <laughs> LLD, PhD. That's right. KKK, <laughs> UPS, Amen. FX, <laughs> ER. All, that. All these letters, like that's a right. human thermometer. That's right. <laughs> God don't make you, you can't be made. That's it. See, if God don't make you, you can be paid to sell out. Amen. Am I right? Amen. If God don't make you, you will pay to sell out. Oh, yeah. Sure you will. Oh, yeah. Brother, you'll start getting them $20 prayer lines, $30 prayer lines. You'll start selling blessed selling. angel gifts. That's right. That's right. Sure, you'll go to material store and buy a big roll of burlap. <laughs> And cut off little squares and sell them twenty dollars a square. Amen. And got people thinking if you wear them under your stocking and under your t-shirt, you'll get healed. You'll break out with a rash from that hard stuff. That's right. That's true. Listen, people. That's true. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you may have it in Chester. In the summertime, you have some men. Who may look for valuables in the park and then you walk around with this metal detector? Mm -hmm. Now, the detector is designed to pick up metal or objects or that's underneath heating by the dirt. That's right. The scriptures is designed mm -hmm. to pick up false teaching hidden right. That's right. by men who take the name Jesus to hide. That's right. The false teaching. That's right. So here come a divine messenger with a divine false detector. That's right. Go ahead. I don't care how much you talk about Jesus. That how much you shout, get in the spirit and spin around. Woo! I don't make a difference. You jumping around in some church like like a buck and bronco. That don't matter. You run like you fighting flies. That's right. Some folk run around in church like they're in the Indiana 500. That don't excite God. Amen. When that New Testament Noah come. Go ahead. With scripture. Go ahead. On all that. He's looking for God to be in that. That's it. And just like metal, give off that detector. If the right stuff is there. This going to sound. Amen. When you hear that detector, <laughs> when this give off sound, you can hear it. Truth, 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 truth. That's right. Truth, 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 truth. Is that right? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. It's going to give off sound. But the people are so overwhelmed by religious emotion. Amen. It's not in emotion. It's in knowledge, understanding. Good as Go it being an emotional fool. That's right. That's right. What good is walking around here being an emotional Bible toting fool? A fool. That's right. Give me some knowledge. Amen. That's go, on, go on to church carrying Bibles and all that stuff. Give me some knowledge. That's right. That's it. Besides going to church and listening to someone humming Amen. and grunting like a pig in slop. Amen. Give me some knowledge. Knowledge. That's right. When you have knowledge, there's no entertainment. It's raw preaching. That's right. You will never see me. Oh, God. Let me you don't understand that, do you? Understand that. You don't understand me, you don't understand them. That's right. That's right. It's excitement. That's what it is. 
and y'all folk jumping up. Woo! Woo! Action! Do you understand? No! No, I don't understand. No! That's right. One scripture talk about the prophets and okay. say they are wind. Wind. That means they're blowing, making noise. That's right. And not saying nothing. Not saying a thing. And no matter the how old you are, listen at the scriptures. In Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 13. And, and the, the prophet shall become. Shall become. Wind. Wind. And the word. And the word. Is not in is them. Is not in them. Not in them. They're just blowing hot air. That's all. That's all. Bow your head and raise your hands. Hot air. Hot air. That's Join all. the church. Hot air. That's right. Baptist born, Baptist gone. Hot air. Hot air. That's right. Go inside there and tell the priest your confession and say seven Hail Marys and fill a chain. Hot air. Hot air. Amen. Win. African Methodist Episcopal. Hot African air. That's right. That's right. Who crushed clan white Christians? Hot air. That's right. Win. Wind. Give me what God blow. Amen. Let God breathe on you. That's right. And you'll find the dead coming back together like it was in the book of Ezekiel Thank when you. God spoke them back into being. That's right. All these other religions. Amen. Man is a founder. Mm -hmm. God ain't never left it to none of his preach, preachers preach. or prophets to start a religion. No, no. Never. Never did. Because man is too carnal and he's too subject to make too many mistakes. That's right. So God wouldn't leave it to man to start it. Mm -hmm. He reveals it to man and make it known to him what was already here. That's they right. teach him how to represent it and preach it. That's right. Not start it. Not start it. That's right. Go not start it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I say it's not started. Amen. Did you hear what the old man said? That's right. There's not a prophet in the scriptures that God move on to start religion. Start a religion. It was here. Amen. Before Already. the world was, God was here. That's right. Before the world was, God way was here. That's right. Before the world was, God thoughts was here. Amen. Before the world was, God's concept was here. That's right. Before the world was, everything about God was here. Yeah, amen. God was already holy. Go ahead. And he made man reveal himself to man. I am. That's right. The Almighty God. God. Go ahead. I was here before you got here. Go ahead. Now I want you to walk before me. That's right. And be thou holy. Perfect. That's right. You're not going to start it. Go ahead. I'm going to teach you what it is so you know how to preach it. Go ahead. And represent it. That's right. You're going to hear about it. That's right. It's from me. That's right. That's what God did. Amen. He showed it to the prophets who heard it from him. That's right. Hear a word behind him. All the prophets that was out. But a word dropped behind them. And thine ears. Listen. In Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. And, and thine ears. What is it? Shall hear a word. Shall hear a word. Behind them. Behind them. Saying this. This. Is the way. Well that let me know all the ways was out that was wrong. That's right. That's right. The Lord corrected it. This is the way. Give chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. The Lord said they shall hear a word. Behind thee. Behind thee. Saying this, this is the way. Is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. When when you turn to the right, when you turn to the right, and when you turn to the left, wherever you go, this way. That, that's right. You go right. You go east. You go west. This is the way. Come on back to this is the way. This is the way. Ah! That's right. No one should be able to produce a apostle or a prophet or some man. Go ahead. And a date of the starting of your religion. Amen. Amen. That's forgery. Forgery. That's what it is. God always was holy. That's right. God always was righteous. That's right. God always was divine. That's right. Man had to be predestinated of God who he going to choose among members of the human family to carry the message. That's right. So then he reveals himself to them. To them. Then reveal his way to them. That's right. Moses didn't start Judaism. No. No more did Jesus start Christianity. Amen. Did you hear what I said? That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. I said, I say, I said. Amen. Jesus, Amen. the Messiah, the Messiah, did not. No, he didn't. Start Christianity. No, he didn't. You that go to Bible school, watch me, my critics. I'm ready to answer. That's right. Jesus did not. No. Start Christianity. No, he didn't. Christ 
was here Go ahead. before the Messiah walked the earth. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Christ was here. That's right. Before Mary was born, before. Christ was here. That's right. I'm not talking about flesh and blood either. No, no. First Corinthians. No, sir. No, no. Christ was here long before the tribe of Judah ever exists. That's right. Before David was here. Go ahead. You understand? Go ahead. Before there was Ham, Shem, and Japheth and the Preach sons that. of Noah. Preach it. Before there was Heba, Phelak, and Rhaegar, and Sarich, and Nahar, and Terah, Go the ahead. father of Abraham. Go ahead. Before they was here. That's right. Before Adam was here. Christ. Christ. Christ was here. Was here. That's right. The problem with you, you don't have revelation. That's right. The viewers don't have revelation, so they think Christ came when he fell from Mary's womb. Right. Christ was in the wilderness. In the wilderness. But That's Mary right. wasn't. That's right. That's right. They ain't talking about no man either. No man. No, I no. listen to the old man. Go ahead. Let's take it apart. First Corinthians chapter 10 and at verse 4. Follow me in the scriptures. And did all drink. And did all drink. The same. The same. Spiritual drink. Spiritual drink. For they drank. They drank. Of that spiritual, spiritual rock. Spiritual. 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 That's right. Spiritual. Spiritual. Divine. That's right. Not earthly. That's right. Not human. Go ahead. Go ahead. Did all drink of that spiritual drink? For they drank of they that spiritual drank rock. Of that spiritual rock. That followed them. That followed them. And that rock. And that rock. Was Christ. And where was he located at? And did all drink the same spiritual drink? Where? And, and, and did all eat the same spiritual meat? Go up the verse about that. Let's at, get the wilderness. At verse 1. Listen. Moreover, brethren. Moreover, brethren. I would not that ye should be ignorant. What? How that all our fathers. All our fathers. Were under the cloud. Were under the cloud. And all passed through all the sea. All passed through the sea. And were all baptized. All baptized. Unto Moses. Unto Musa. In the cloud. In the cloud. And in the sea. Talking about the children of Israel in the wilderness. That's right. Yes. And. And did all eat the same did spiritual all meat. did eat the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the they same drank spiritual the same drink. Spiritual drink. For they drank. They drank of that spiritual of rock. That spiritual rock that followed them. That followed them. And that rock. And that rock was Christ. That rock. That rock. That rock. That rock was was Christ. Christ. That's right. And that Christ Go ahead. was not the son of a woman. That's right. That's right. Christ. That Christ. Preach that. Go ahead. For there was no woman here. That's right. When it say Christ in the Old Testament, Amen. not talk about no flesh and blood. No, no, spiritual. Which let me know Christ is above flesh. That's right. That's right. In the wilderness. That's right. But with many of them, Christ was in man. That's right. Give me the book of Peter. Peter. Amen. Let's get this revelation good. Mm -hmm. Everybody listening? Listen at the Apostle Peter. That's right. How the Spirit of Christ signified. In 1 Peter chapter 1. Real quick. And at verse 10. Listen. Wherefore the rather, brethren, yes. give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Yes. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. All right, let's get, um, I believe it's 1 Peter. Go back to the first chapter, first, the first Peter. Peter, and go further down. Come on, son, move fast. First Peter chapter 1 at verse 10. Yes. Of which salvation, of which salvation the prophets have inquired. Listen closely. Amen. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired. They inquired. They inquired. Search. They inquired. Who they inquired salvation from? God. That's right. That's what right. did they do? And search. Search. Diligently. Diligently. Who prophesied who of the grace. prophesied of the mercy. That should come unto you. That should come to you. Searching what? Searching what? Or what manner of time? Or what manner of time? The Spirit. The Spirit. Of Christ. The Spirit. Of Christ. Where was he located? Which was in them did signify. Christ was in them. When it testified. And Christ got in them and made them testify. Beforehand. Beforehand. The suffering. The suffering. Of Christ. All that. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Christ. Test 
testifying That's right. of Christ. Of Christ. Go what ahead. you mean? Go ahead. Christ is God. Amen. God is spirit. Amen. But the spirit wanted to be represented properly. That's right. So the spirit made flesh. That's right. Created flesh. Mm -hmm. Christ didn't become flesh. No. God is not a man. God is not a man. God did not become man. No, no. Someone said, well, the Bible said the word was made flesh. Let's mm -hmm. get an understanding. That's right. Jesus said, the word that I speak unto you are spirit. That's right. That's right. And they are life. They're life. Spirit is not made. Mm -hmm. So why would God bear the title word? Right. Define word. Word, word means speech. It takes speech to bring what don't exist into being. That's right. So in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. Not that there was another God with him, no. but the word was with God, meaning he's a God of his word. That's right. If he speaks, he live up to what he said. Amen. Then he said the word was, was God. God. So if God is the word, God talk mm -hmm. and bring that which is not. That's right. Here, let there be light. light. Right. Mm -hmm. He is light. Let there be a ferment in the midst of the deep. That's right. So it was. Amen. Let us make man. Come on. Here we come. Mm -hmm. So God bear the title word. Word. He speak that which never was into being. That's right. So here you have Christ is a title. Christ is not a name. That's right. Christ is a title showing the function of God. That's right. Christ means the anointed one to come upon or move upon. Move upon. When the Bible say he move upon the face of the deep, that's when Christ anointed the waters. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. Huh? Amen. That's when Christ anointed the waters. Amen. When the Bible said Christ was in the prophets, in the prophets. he anointed the prophets. That's right. Moved on them. Mm -hmm. Gave them a message, right. then gave them permission to talk. That's, That's right. right. But now here come Christ moving on the prophets mm -hmm. to testify Testify beforehand, beforehand the sufferings of Christ. Before Christ would suffer. That's right. So the spirit that bears the title Christ will create the Messiah. That's right. mm -hmm. And then the title Christ will be put on the flesh. That's right. And the name Jesus that comes from the Spirit will be put on the flesh. God's name is not Christ. That's right. The name is simply Jesus, right. the, the Christ. Christ. That's right. What you mean? Jesus, the anointed, the anointed one. one. That's right. That's what that is. That's right. Gabriel never said his name shall be called Jesus Christ. No. He said his Jesus. name shall be called Jesus. Jesus. Even the angel said, born unto you this day, the seed of David, a Savior, which is Christ, Christ the, the Lord. Lord. Two titles. Amen. No name. That's right. Lord mean overall. Right. Christ mean the anointed. Amen. Mean the one that would be born would be superior to everyone else, and he would be the anointed by God. Go ahead. Do you understand? That's right. So here's the flesh bear name. And title. And title. Right. Name and title. and title. That's right. Then when he get here, he say, I come. In my father's name. In my father's name. That's right. Do you understand? Amen. I come in my, father's, in my name. father's name. That's right. If you want to know who's doing this work, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it by the name Jesus. That's right. And, the, and that way you'll know who get the credit. That's right. The son of God. The servant of God don't get the credit. No, no. For he said of I myself. Do, I do nothing. I do nothing. Nothing of myself. But as the spirit that dwelleth in me. He doeth the work. He do the work. You want to know who walked on water? Come on. My flesh couldn't walk on water. That's right. But the spirit got in that flesh and make it walk on water. That's right. The son of man didn't raise Lazarus. No, no. The flesh can't do nothing. Amen. The son of man just said, move the stone away. But God that was in him. That's right. Lazarus, he did the work. Come forth. That's right. You understand? Go ahead. So when the Messiah said, I am the resurrection, mm -hmm. his flesh was no resurrection. No, no. If the flesh was the resurrection, the flesh would be here today. That's right. The Bible says God is the spirit. God is the spirit. It's take the spirit to resurrect us. Go ahead. Do you understand? Go ahead. Listen. In St. John chapter 8. 
And at verse 28. Listen at John 8, 28. Then said Jesus unto them. Then said Jesus unto them. When ye have lifted up the Son of when Man. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man. Then shall ye know then that I am he. Then shall ye know that I am he. And that I do nothing. I do nothing. Nothing. I do nothing. Nothing. I do nothing. Of myself. This is Jesus talking. That's right. Eh? That's right. This is Jesus talking. And that I do nothing. I do nothing. Of myself. Nothing. 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 Of myself, but but as my father, as the spirit hath taught me, guide me. That's right. I speak these things. I can talk. That's right. Christianity was not started by Jesus. No. Jesus came representing the way of holiness. That's right. That's right. Nowhere in the Bible will you find a religion called Christianity. You have Christians Christian. in the scriptures, which is called, you know, it was first called Christians at Antioch because they saw them conducting themselves like Christ. That's right. But a religion called Christianity, founded by man, produced by man, mm -hmm. made by man, will die with man. Forgers of lies. Forgers. Forgers. Man forged it. That's right. Constantine forged it. Mm -hmm. That's right. I said Constantine forged it. Amen. He came up with a religion a called Christianity. He's forgery. That's right. Forgery. It's doctrine of man. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not start Christianity. No. You man. never read that nowhere. No, no. You'll find it in the library, but you won't find it in the Bible. That's right. I said, let's come on back to Bible. Amen. Let's make a recall. Amen. Got a hole in your religion like a muffler. That's right. Making a lot of noise. That's right. What good is going around professing a religion and then you can be challenged? That's right. Amen. Give me the religion of God. It cannot be challenged. Not be challenged. When I tell folk God weighs holiness, mm -hmm. I can go to scripture from Old Testament to New. All the way to the New. Nobody can say that religion was here before creation was. No. But I can. That's right. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4, and verse according four. to as God has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy. That's it. According to scholars, Christianity is 2,000 years old. Amen. Well, what did the prophets have? That's right. What were they? That's right. They were called holy, holy prophets. Holy prophets. He spake by the mouth of his, of his holy, holy prophet since the world began. That's right. That's right. Even God called his way the way of holiness. That's written. Written, that's right. You don't mind if we compare the Bible with you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help you, that's all. That's right. Listen. Isaiah chapter 35. Don't tell me how dedicated you are to your church. I don't mean nothing. No. You better be dedicated to God. Amen. That's right. Listen. Isaiah chapter 35 and at verse 8. Listen closely. And a highway. A highway. Shall be there. Shall be there. And a way. And what? A and a way. A W A Y S. A W A Y. A W A Y S. A W A Y. A W A Y S. And a W A Y. Do you get the language of the scripture? That's right. And a way. A way. And it shall be called. And it shall be called what? the the way. The way of holiness. Of Christianity. Of holiness. Of Buddhist. Of holiness. Of Baptist. Of holiness. Of Presbyterian. Of holiness. Of Lutheran. Of holiness. Of Pentecostal. Of holiness. Of non denomination. Of holiness. Of Catholic. Of holiness. Of Mormon. Of holiness. And it shall be called the way. Don't get mad at me. I ain't write the Bible. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I'm just a messenger of the Bible. Just a messenger. Amen. You mean to tell me I'm wrong? I don't mean to tell you nothing. Read it for yourself. That's right. Don't blame me. Amen. Write me hate mail and all that stuff. Don't blame me. Amen. Call chapter and verse. Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 8. No, Geno 35 and verse 8. Isaiah 35 and verse 8. Genesis 35 and 8. Isaiah 35 and 8. Genesis 35 and 8. Isaiah 35 and 8. Geno 35 and 8. Isaiah 35 and 8. You want to fight somebody? Fight the prophet. <laughs> That's right. Fight him. Fight him. Fight him. That's right. Don't get upset with me because your religion is not in the scripture. Amen. If your religion is not in the scripture, it ain't your fault. That's right. It's not my fault. That's right. It's the fault of the devil. Amen. That's right. That's right. Don't blame me no more than I can blame you. 
I got to blame the devil. Blame the devil. Huh? That's right. Glory to God. Come on, Sam. And a highway shall be there. A highway shall be there. And a way. And a way. And it shall be called the way. The way. Of holiness. The way of holiness. The way. My God, the way of holiness is all in the scriptures. That's right. Huh? Isaiah. Listen, chap- listen, listen, listen. Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 12. That way you don't think I'm making up something. Some folks say, you're just trying to get everybody to come to your religion. That ain't mine. <laughs> That's right. It's not mine. No, no. Get me out of it. Get you out of it. I'm trying to be saved just like you. That's right. You don't need me standing here for holiness to be in the Bible. No. Read it. <laughs> Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 62. And at verse 12. And they shall call them the holy people. <laughs> Is it still in there? And they shall call them the holy people. Is it still in there? Amen. Still it's in there. It's still in there. Still in here. They shall call them what? The, the holy, Baptist people. The holy people. These religious liars say it don't matter what you are. We right. worship the same God. We all one down inside. inside. God have one people. That's right. One people. That's right. If you are Catholic, you should be able to go to the Bible. Amen. To find your religion in here. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go to there. That's it. You folk called me and cussed me out and all that. <laughs> that don't matter. Waste your time cussing me out. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Back to the Bible. Come on back to the Bible that you carry. Amen. You claim you believe it. You claim you love it. You walk around kissing the Bible and all that stuff. Amen. Come on back to Bible. Back to the Bible. Just face it like a man. That's right. Face it like a woman. That's right. My religion not in there. Amen. Just say it. Say it. Say it. That's right. Say it. Say it. Talk to me. That's right. Talk to me, I say. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Might as well walk like soldiers. That's right. Go ahead. Hmm? <laughs> Go ahead. Might as well walk like soldiers. Amen. My religion is not in there. My religion is not in there. It came from hell and there somewhere. You might as well march to it. March to that. That's right. Go ahead, take the car. That's right. March to it. Amen. Amen. The religion of man came from hell. That's right. It That's came right. from hell to cause confusion. Amen. And it's doing the right thing. It's doing it. Silly white religion, foolish black religion, blind Hispanic religion. That's God right. have one way That's and right. integrates everybody. Amen. Mountain of the Lord. Bible said the mountain. Mountain of the, of the Lord's, Lord's house, house shall be established, shall be established in, the top in the top of the mountains. Of the mountain and shall be exalted, shall be exalted above the hills. And who's coming? All nations. Who? All nations. Who? All nations. Who? All nations. Everybody shall flow unto it. All nations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Do you understand? Hallelujah. You arrogant yes. black religions. Go ahead. The hell you going. Go ahead. Go ahead. You arrogant white religions. The Go hell ahead. you going to. That's right. You and your leaders. That's right. God set up one way. One, that's it's right. It's a highway. Highway shall it's be there. straight and narrow. That's right. And only the clean is allowed to unclean. walk on it. That's right. Go ahead. Unclean shall not pass over it. Are you listening? Amen. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. God, I, I, Hallelujah. I will exalt God. Hallelujah. Take it in. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll push, push this stuff. stuff. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, man. Let's look at it. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're going to exalt God's way. Amen. We don't care if we cause a disturbance from White House to Dog House. That's right. Hallelujah. In the way of holiness, Hallelujah. we do not pledge no allegiance. Go ahead. 
to no flag. Go ahead, go ahead. Of this America. That's right. Our pledge of allegiance means to give all. That's right. We give our all to Almighty God. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. God only. God only. Are you listening? Go ahead, go ahead. We don't yes, swear. Thou no shalt man. not forswear thyself. We bow to God. That's right. Swear Are not at all. Holiness is not like these other religions. Go ahead, go ahead. You folk that's in Christianity, you got an American flag in your church. That's right. that's you was right. following God, you wouldn't find an American flag in nobody's church. Amen. Preach that. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Only thing to be exalted in that church is God. That's right. That's right. Government don't dictate us. Amen. God dictates us. That's right. Go ahead. We believe in the laws of the land. Mm -hmm. But if any law comes from the White House, Amen. that contradicts the throne. That's right. That's right. We will fight that law. Go ahead. We will ahead. fight it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say you should be patriotic. At a time like this, I'm not a patriot. <laughs> That's right. I fear God. Go ahead, preach that. Go ahead. God has more to offer me than America ever will have. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I had a black man called in <laughs> and told me, "You just afraid to speak out against all of the Muslims because of what Saddam oh, or what's that fella name was supposed to have called it the Osama bin Laden done." I can't generalize every Muslim. No, no, no. And say every Muslim is a terrorist? No. Because America said what Bin Laden done. I don't know he done it. Amen. The Bible teaches me to speak what I know. Amen. That's right. And I know from the history of America, they have a long history of lies. That's true. So I'm not going to say he done it because they said it. Amen. America Go don't control my mind. Go I'm ahead. not on nobody's plantation. My Lord, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. America don't talk for me. Go ahead. Let the book of scripture talk for us. Go ahead. Do you find America indicting all so-called Christians Amen. because of the conduct of the Ku Klux Klan? No. No. No way. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. I can't indict all Muslims. No, no way. There's some Muslims I know live better than some of you so-called Christian cigar sucking dogs. Amen. <laughs> Many of them that I know. Amen. Some that I know fear God better. Better. Go ahead. When Islam calls for prayer, it is known that all dedicated Muslims submit wherever they at. Mm -hmm. The preacher can say, all right, let's come on to the house of God and pray. He got to be on the phone. You come to church tonight. That's right. Brother, you got you to get there early over to the church. That's Brother, true. you got the keys. You got people standing outside. That's right. That's right. That's why they don't like this bow tie wearing half bald head man. That's right. I speak the truth. Amen. It don't matter who don't like it. Mm -hmm. Well, I won't come back and see you. That's right. Doesn't matter. I, don't, I, don't I know. know when you meet God, you're going to answer for what I'm preaching. That's right. My Lord, my Lord. So we're not afraid to speak out against terrorism. No. Terrorism is wrong. That's why I speak out against America. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You going to tell me America is not a terrorist country? Go ahead. America got a history of terrorism. Amen. What are you talking? Amen. You don't go around being hateful towards somebody because the government say that you should. No, that's not God's way. No, no, no. If Bin Laden is wrong, then let him be brought before the world's court. That's right. But I will say this. That's right. If you can condemn terrorism, and it should be condemned, mm -hmm. and all terrorists should be brought to the court 
of the world, Amen. then you better put America on that list trial. and let them be tried by the world's court. That's right. For the years of treatment towards the so-called American Indian, Go the ahead. black man, the Hispanic man, and the poor white soul of this country. That's right. Go ahead. You think terrorists just go around bombing buildings? No, no. Terrorists bomb your paycheck. That's right. <laughs> yes, they will. That's right. That's right. Terrorists will suppress your ability to be promoted on a job. That's true. Terrorists will deprive you of proper education. That's right. Terrorists will deprive you of proper jobs. Amen. Proper housing. Amen. America bears the heading of democracy. Yeah. Democracy means fairness. Fair. Well, American democracy is equivalent to hypocrisy. That's right. Because if America was a democracy, a country of democracy, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have to have no march. No. You don't have to march on no Washington. March for your rights. You don't right. need no new bills. No. Just enforce what you already got. That's right. You don't Go need ahead. no new bills. Go ahead. The bills you got ain't doing nothing. Amen. Just make the poor poor. Have you ever found a president get up and talk about what he going to do for poor people? There's always two people, middle class and rich. President right. don't come. A man running from office don't come to the hood. No, no. A man running for office don't even come to the hood. That's right. And talking about vote for me. He don't come to the hood. No, no. He go to the suburbs. Mm -hmm. So he don't have to duck. The duck. Don't worry about no drive-by shooting. That's right. As he think. Yeah. That's why I don't encourage God's people to vote. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't encourage God's people to vote. Amen. No. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. Hmm. Which one of them care about you? That's right. Go ahead. They're cutting out all your programs yeah. and not putting nothing to replace it. That's right. Think of it. Amen. It is the government that'll put you in jail for smoking crap. Yeah. But the government endorses crack pipes to be sold over the counter. Amen. The government will put you in jail for drunk driving. Yeah. But the store is called state stores. That's right. That's right. State stores. When you open that bottle, you crack the government seal before you down that liquor. That's right. That's democracy. That's right. That's hypocrisy. Amen. Woe unto them. Listen. In Isaiah chapter 10, beginning verse 1. That's why I kill everything. That's right. Yes. I don't encourage none of you to vote. <laughs> it's been proven oh, yeah. that your vote don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. All you got to be is be a multi-millionaire. You can buy your way into the White House. That's right. That's right. It's proven. Amen. These organizations, the NAACP, I believe they have good intents and core and SNCC and all of them for years, but knocking on doors and encouraging you to vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's what it mean? Yeah. What do you get? Mm -hmm. Are you getting someone to form a big march? You march down on Washington, which give vendors a chance to make money. Yes. You get a good speech. Amen. You go back home. Go back home. Feeling all right. That's right. And still on the employment, on the unemployment line. Are you listening? Amen. Listen. Isaiah chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. Listen at the scriptures. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. All this tie in with the book. All this with the book. This is a hypocritical nation. That's right. They decree unrighteous. Unrighteous decrees. Decrees. I mean, when I listen at Bush. I know many of you patriotic folk going to write me and call because you do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Thousands of letters. Amen. What Bush is saying that Saddam should not have nuclear warheads. I agree. Mm -hmm. But are you saying he shouldn't have them and you should? That's, that's, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Saddam shouldn't have them, mm -hmm. but we should have them. That's right. Why? We're America. 
<laughs> Go ahead. We're America. Amen. Well, if one country shouldn't have them, mm. nobody should have nobody. them. Nobody. If nuclear war hands is wrong for Iraq or Iran, mm. then it's wrong for America. Amen. It's not it's right for America and wrong. No. If it's wrong for them, it's wrong. Listen, it's yeah. like they throw you in jail mm -hmm. for shooting. It was wrong, and you can shoot somebody for defending your family. You go to jail. Right. If it's wrong to take another person's life mm -hmm. for protecting your family, and they give you 20 years, mm -hmm. then it's equally wrong for America Amen. to draft you, and you go fight in defense of her. Amen. Amen. Equally wrong. Amen. If someone gonna break into that man's house and that man hunt deer, that man gonna hunt two legs. Yes, he will. Is that right? That's right. If someone gonna break in his house, that's right. And that man may be a deer hunter. <laughs> that man gonna go to his rifle and hunt two legs. Yes, he will. Then he gonna go to jail. That's right. For protecting his house. That's right. Well, it should be equally wrong. Amen. To go overseas. And take the lives of people who don't know you. Amen. While your president riding around on a golf course or sitting on his ranch and fish. <laughs> That's right. That's equally wrong. Equally. If it's wrong to kill here in America, then it's wrong to kill for America. Amen. Now many may not like that. Amen. But the law of God says this. Thou shall not, not kill. kill. That's it. The law of God, God says said so. it. Vengeance is mine, the Lord says, I will repay. That's right. You ain't got no way to go a season die. They got what is called friendly fire. That's what they call it. In other words, your own friends kill you. That's right. <laughs> they fly right over you and drop a bomb drop on bombs. you. Amen. Now, if a bomb going to hit me, I don't believe it's going to feel friendly. <laughs> And all your family get in return is a flag wrapped in plastic. That's it. And a 21-gun salute and you dropped in the ground. Mm -hmm. But then if you go to war for this country and all of a sudden they drop chemicals. America dropped chemicals during now. Agent Orange was a Agent Orange was a chemical. That's right. So you can't criticize these third world countries for chemical warfare. You done it, America. Amen. Started. And you got vets now. Suffering from the effects of Asian Orange, they can't get nothing from this country. Amen. So get the moat out of your eye. That's right. Before you get the beam out of any third world country. That's right. Mm -hmm. now, I know many won't like what I'm saying. I won't like it. But as you found out now, it don't matter to me. Amen. This is the love of Christ. That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh yeah. Amen. This is Christ's love. This is love. Yes, I'm saying it and I mean it, brother. That's right. This nation is a hypocritical country. Amen. And the reason why these TV evangelists are scared to speak the truth because they're afraid to be offended by this country. And they're afraid to be sued by right. this country. They're afraid to be closely watched by the FBI and the CIA. They That's want right. to stand and take a picture with the president. That's right. <laughs> I rather stand with God. Stand with God. That's right. Let me stand with God. Go ahead. If I got to stand alone, mm, go ahead. long as God with me, I'll fight creation. Go ahead. go ahead. I'll fight the world with no fear. I don't go fear ahead. nobody walking on this planet. Amen. As long as God remains God, I know a good man steps out. Order by the Lord. Order by the Lord. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lord, go ahead. Huh? Amen. That's why we preach like we do. Yes, Lord. We preach like we do because God made us like he did. That's right. Not because I had a messed up childhood no. or my mind is messed up. No, no. God got a hold of us. That's right. And made me to represent him. That's it. As long as God be my helper, Amen. I will represent him to the last breath of my body. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening? Amen. So I don't worry about hate mail. No. 
I don't worry about hateful calls. That don't discourage me. No, no. It just keep my engine cranked. Yeah. That's right. And oiled by the spirit. That's right. We stay divine and lubricated. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Go ahead. America, anytime a man is of God in the country that he's in, the government is wrong. Mm -hmm. And if he cannot speak it's against that. the, if you examine the scriptures, That's right. when the prophets told the king, thus saith the Lord. That's right. Told the queen, thus saith the Lord. Oh. That was the government of that time. That's right. If Daniel can talk about Nebuchadnezzar. Amen. And Belshazzar. Mm -hmm. And Isaiah can call Hezekiah attention. That's right. And Micaiah can talk to Ahab. Mm -hmm. And Jehu can talk to Ahab. That's right. And Elijah can talk to Ahab. Amen. If Nathan can talk to David. Yeah. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. If Jesus can talk to Herod. Amen. If Paul can talk to Agrippa. That's right. Then I can talk to Bush and everybody else in the world. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Certainly we can. Go ahead. God don't make no scared messengers. No, no. He don't make no coward preachers. Amen. He want a preacher that will take on his character. That's right. Who's willing? Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Who's willing to abide by His will? Go ahead. Go ahead. It ain't nothing scared about God. No. No, we are not patriotic. That's right. Yes, we pray for those families who lost their lives when the twin towers was taken down. That whole act was cowardly and wickedly. Amen. Wicked. But I don't know who done it. Amen. I ain't got a clue who done it. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Amen. I mean, you're talking about the same government that says one bullet killed Kennedy and killed a governor and killed one bullet hit about five people. That's right. <laughs> one car. You're talking about a government that says one bullet killed about four or five people or hit four or five people in a moving vehicle moving and vehicle. the bullet wasn't damaged. It came out perfect. That's right. If a 22 bullet is shot in your arm, that bullet is crushed. Amen. It's damaged. Yeah. The one bullet theory. <laughs> That's what they call it. <laughs> go call through it. the throat, go through the head, and come out the governor's wrist and go with someone else, that bullet is busy, boy. <laughs> Traveling. I have no confidence in the government of America. No, no. One white racist gentleman called me. I have to say racist because all my white brothers and sisters are not racist. Mm -hmm. But this gentleman was racist and he called me after he called me a nigger. He said, listen, you old preaching MF nigger. Why don't you go on back to Africa where you came from? <laughs> well, me personally, I didn't come from Africa. <laughs> My ancestors did. Right, that's right. In fact, my white brother, you came. That's right. According to the book of scripture, the every scripture. human, you come from Africa. That's right. Your mama came from Africa. Amen. Let me talk to you. Go ahead. Your mama is an African woman. The Bible said Eve is the mother of all, of all living. That's right. Of Go all ahead. living. All. So ain't nobody colored better than anyone else. That's right. One thing about the Bible, know how to cut your arrogance down, don't it? Oh, yes. Amen. It cut your arrogance down. Down. Put the white dust, the yellow dust, the black dust all together and let you know you're just a pile of dust. That's all. I'm glad God have it like that. That's right. That way we don't think we're something when we are nothing. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. So to my brothers and sisters that are viewing, how much time do I have left, brother? Let me know how much time do I have because I know the clocks are ticking in. I know the cameras, they eventually fade out. 30 minutes. All right, that's good exercise time. Everybody all right? Yeah. You ain't got a way to go this afternoon, do you? Good. If you plan on going to church, cancel it. That's right. Don't come get truth in one session, then go back and get lied to. Yeah. 
That's huh? right, that's right. Do you understand? No. Mm -hmm. Come on, son, let's get some more good truth here. Still in Isaiah 10 and at verse 1. Yeah. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Unrighteous decrees. And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. That right grievances that they have prescribed. Come on. Hmm. Isaiah. Bush, I believe, is just trying to do what his father couldn't do. Amen. He want to finish up finish. daddy's work. That's right. Amen. Some said, why don't you go in and preach the word? This is the word. That's right. Someone said, I can't find it in the Bible. Bush is like a king of the Old Testament. Right. Yeah. And I'm like a prophet in the Old Testament. That's right. I hold authority he don't have. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. Someone said, who do you think you are? I am what I am. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Whenever God sent a man, Amen. He holds authority that no human holds. Mm -mm. The president and king hold earthly authority. That's right. God prophets hold heavenly authority. That's right. And if Bush was wise, Amen. and this moment of silence was for real, yeah. That's right. You congressmen are just being silent. Let someone just pray. That's right. That's right. Don't let the military chaplain read no prayer. Amen. Go ahead. Let someone who walk with God talk to God. That's right. Ask God for true, sincere guidance. Go ahead. And help. Go ahead. Is that Bible? Yes. Oh. There was a king mm -hmm. by the name of Ahab. That's right. And he wanted a piece of territory called Ramoth Gilead. Ramoth Gilead. Go and take a card. That's right. You understand? That's right. Give me the book of Kings and see what I'm talking about scripture. First Kings chapter 22. First Kings chapter 22. And begin at verse 4. And verse 4. And he said unto Jehoshaphat. I hope all of you all right. I know many of you sit in movies longer than this. You know, so I hope you're not hurting back there. If you can, kind of stretch. That's right. Kind of strict because let me tell you something. You may leave here. It may be your last time living. Amen. Huh? That's true. Listen closely. First Kings 22 begin at verse 1. All right. And they continued three years without war between Syria and Israel. Yes. And it came to pass in the third year uh -huh. that Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, came Jehoshaphat, down. Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, came down. To the king of Israel. To the king of Israel. And the king of Israel said unto his servants, Know ye not that Ramoth Gilead is ours? Do you know that Ramoth Gilead is ours? And we be still. And we ain't doing nothing about it. And take it not out of the hand of king of the king of Syria. The king of Assyria got our land. And he said unto Jehoshaphat. The king of Assyria got our land. That's right. Our land. Our land. That's right. You understand? Mm-hmm. That's the attitude of America. Mm-hmm. Other countries got their land and America want it. <laughs> Amen. That's our land. <laughs> That's right. So let me travel around the, country, the world and persuade other leaders to join us in a coalition. Mm-hmm. To topple land that's really not ours. Right. But because we are a greedy country Amen. and right. got the spirit of covetousness, Go ahead. we are known to desire someone else's. That's right. Hmm? That's right. That is the policy of America. Mm -hmm. The spirit of covetousness. Meaning to desire and to want something that don't belong to you. That's right. Listen. Know ye not that Ramoth Gilead is ours? Yes. And we be still. And taken not out of the hand of the king of Syria. And the king of Assyria wasn't bothering they had? No. Who wasn't bothering they had? And it wasn't. Saddam ain't bothering Bush. Nope. These other countries, they're not bothering Bush. No, no. But a lot of men strive to make a legacy for themselves. Yeah. At the lies of others, at the expense of others. Mm -hmm. I encourage all people, black, white, yellow, red, if a draft ever come out, don't go. Amen. Amen. Well, we'll throw you in jail. At least I'll be alive. That's right. I can watch cable in jail. That's right. Well, I can turn the Truth to God television program on in jail. That's right. Don't go. Mm -hmm. Listen. And he said unto Jehoshaphat, Wilt thou go with me to battle to Ramoth Gilead? Will you go with me mm -hmm. to battle? To Ramoth Gilead. 
That's what the president do. That's what they're trying. Get their coalition. This is a coalition talk. That's right. Will you go with me to Ramoth Gilead? And Jehoshaphat said to the king of now, Israel. Now, listen at the righteous king Jehoshaphat and his suggestion. I am as thou art. I am as thou art. My, my people, people as, as thy people. And my horses. As thy horses. Yes. And Jehoshaphat said unto the king of Israel. Listen. Inquire, I pray oh, wait, thee. Wait, 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 Ahab. Here's something I advise you to do. Inquire, I pray thee. At the word of the at Lord. At the word of the Lord. Today. Today. Amen. You better get involved, God involved, involved in and what you got in mind to do. That's right. A moment of silence ain't going to do it. <laughs> no. No, no. You better get God involved. That's right. Because there's lives at stake. Amen. There's a lot of wives going to lose husbands. Yeah. A lot of children going to lose fathers. That's right. Over the greed of another country. That's right. Huh? Amen. Listen. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together. Now. <laughs> He gathered the prophets. Prophets. But none of these guys he got mm -hmm. was of God. That's right. Listen. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together. Yes. About 400 men. You don't need 400 men to tell you the truth. <laughs> no. <laughs> America do the same thing. Mm -hmm. They call Benny Hinn. That's right. They call Graham. Graham. They call Jakes. Mm -hmm. Call Earl Robbins. That's right. They call Robert Tilton. Yep. They call Pat Robinson. Mm -hmm. They call Creflo Dollar. Creflo Dollar. They call Swagger. Oh. They don't call me. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't they call me? Oh, they call you. That's right. That's right. Am I that bad? Amen. Go ahead. I, am I not that messed up? Why don't you call America? Why don't you call me? <laughs> now, I want you to listen closely at this, brother, because I'm telling you, this is itemizing exactly what I'm talking about right now. That's right. From the mentality of the president to the mentality of the prophet. That's right. Listen closely. Inquire, I pray thee, at the word of the Lord today. Inquire, I pray thee, at God's word today. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together, about 400 men. Yes. And said unto them, Shall I go against Ramoth Gilead to, to battle? The, the objective of Ahab mm -hmm. was to get 400 men so they would say the same thing. That way, that would impress Jehoshaphat so Jehoshaphat can think, all these men of God speaking with one voice, they are behind Ahab, and this war is of God. Right. But Jehoshaphat was divinely intelligent. That's right. See, Jehoshaphat walked with God. Yeah. And he knew what was false from what was real. That's right. So Ahab got 400 men just to bring about an excitement to make it look like I consulted God until God moved on 400, 400 men. men. That's right. To speak the same thing. That's right. Listen. Shall I go against Ramoth Gilead to battle or like, shall I forbear? Yes. And they said, go up. Go on up. For the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. They lied. Mm -hmm. 400 men, they said they were prophets. Say, go on up. The Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. But the Lord ain't said that. No. Now listen closely. And Jehoshaphat said. Oh, here's the wise king who it, walked with God. That's right. Listen to that Jehoshaphat question. Is there not a prophet of hey, the hey, Lord hey, besides? Ahab, hey, what you trying to put down? <laughs> that's right. Now, Ahab, what in the world are you trying to put down? Amen. You know better. This is Jehoshaphat. Is there not here a prophet, a of, the Lord prophet besides? of the Lord besides? Besides what? Besides all these false prophets false you got? Prophet. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen, you better bring the real thing in here. The real thing. Amen. Because I know they don't, they don't take 400 men to tell you one truth. No. What do you think you're talking to, Ahab? Amen. Amen. Listen closely. And Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides? That we might inquire of him. I want you to listen that Ahab respond. Mm -hmm. And Ahab respond going to let you know he knew the 400 was devils. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Listen. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat. 
there is yet one man. Well, if those 400 had the goods, why would he say there is yet one man? One man. Well, Joe, it's a fat look. I know. That's right. You know, I wanted to get you excited. I hope you get on my side. But listen, I know all these 400 fellas ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. But being that you asked to hear from God and not the devil, there, there is, yet is one man. Only one man I know of. Micaiah. His name is Micaiah, the, the son, of, son Imla. of Imla. By whom, By whom we may inquire of the Lord. We can get God's word from him, but I'm going to tell you the way I feel about him. But I hate him. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. He said, I hate him. But why do you hate him, Ahab? For he doth not prophesy good concerning me, but evil. He don't say what I want to hear. That's right. That's right. Always talk about you going to hell. you going to hell. <laughs> I want to talk about heaven, heaven and love. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's right. And that's the way people feel. That's the way they feel. Because Micaiah was not designed to tell the king what he wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. Micaiah and every man of God is designed to tell you what you need to hear. That's right. In other words, he's not sent out to make friends. Amen. He's sent out to save souls, and God will send real, real friends, friends to him. That's right. Listen. And Jehoshaphat said, let not the king say so. Don't say yet. Don't say you hate this man. That's right. Listen. Then the king of Israel called an officer. Then the king of Israel called an officer. And said, hasten hither Micaiah the son of Imbler. Listen, you, you know Micaiah. Go hurry up and go get him. And the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat the king of Judah sat each on his throne. We're sitting and wait for him. Having put on the robes in a void place in the entrance of the gate of Samaria. Listen. And all the prophets prophesied before them. The 400 kept going. Kept going. And not one was a man of God. That's right. They was out looking for the man of God, Micaiah. That's, that's right. The 400 kept acting like fools. Amen. Amen. Listen. And Zedekiah, the son of Chenea, and made him horns of iron. Yeah. And he said, thus saith the Lord. Even, even Zedekiah got into it. Mm -hmm. Hypocrite. That's right. He made horns of iron. He started lying on God. Thus saith the Lord. With these thou shalt with push these, the Syrians. He came up with a false prophecy. That's with right. these shalt thou push the Syrians. Until thou have until consumed them. Until thou hast consumed them. And all the prophets prophesied so, saying, go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper. And the Lord was not in none of this. Mm-hmm. Because they were still out looking for Micaiah. That's right. The real deal. That's right. Listen. For the Lord shall deliver it into the king's hand. All right. And the messenger that was gone to call Micaiah spake unto Now listen him. closely. Mm -hmm. Micaiah had a rep. That's right. Of speaking whatever God speak. That's right. So the messenger from Ahab knew what the false prophets already said. Mm -hmm. So when he got to Micaiah, he knew Micaiah was known for spoiling things. That's right. So he said, listen. Spake unto him. What? Saying, behold now, now the words of look. the prophets. Micaiah, look. We all know the way you are. That's right. The prophets have already told the king, go on up. Go on up. Go on up and prosper. That's right. Listen. Be behold now the words of the prophets declare good unto the king with one mouth. They all agreed and they all spoke good of him, Micaiah. Mm -hmm. Now. Let thy word. Let Listen. Let your word. I pray thee. I pray thee. Be like the word of one of them. Listen, when you speak like one of them. And speak that which is good. Speak something good. And Micaiah said. Listen that, the prophet. As the Lord liveth. There you go again. You got to always refer to the Lord. <laughs> That's right. That's the way folk feel about us. That's you right. always got to talk about the Bible. Bible. You talk about the Bible. You talk about other religions. Where is your love? The Bible is love. If I preach Bible, I preach love. That's right. That's right. You understand? Amen. Same way they felt about Micaiah. Mm -hmm. Now, when you come, you you agree with everybody else. Yeah, everybody else. Say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Don't go talk about the Lord. Amen. Just tell us what we want to hear, and then you go on back and serve the Lord to by yourself. That's right. You tell us what we want to hear. That's right. What they want me to do? Mm -hmm. Jennings, go and agree with the women preachers. That's right. Agree with the gay churches. Say we all can be one down inside. Amen. Don't talk about hell so much. Mm -hmm. Talk more passively. Yeah. Don't be so aggressive. That's right. Be calm. That's right. Be cool. Be cool. Don't be so hard. Mm -hmm. You need a little more lessons in love. Amen. <laughs> I done heard all that. My Lord, my Lord. 
Come on, son. And Micaiah said, As the Lord liveth, as the Lord lives, what the Lord what saith the unto Lord me, say to me, that will I speak. My God, that's what I'm resting on. That's right. That's right. That's right. What the Lord said to me, that's, that's right. what I'm going to say if I got to die in the process. Right. Amen. Whatever God say, that's what I will say. That's it. If you walk with picket signs in the street, go ahead. I'm going to say what God say. That's right. If the government take my life, I'm going to say what God say. Go ahead. Are you listening? Amen. Come on. So he came to the king. So he finally come to the king. And the king said unto him, Micaiah. 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 Shall we go against Ramoth Gilead to battle? Micaiah, listen. We're going to go up the ram off Gilead, Gilead to battle. We're going to just forbear. Forget about it. And he answered him, go and prosper. Now, in it, now listen at this. <laughs> Micaiah, <laughs> Ahab knew that if any time Micaiah is going to say the same thing. That's right. That his prophet said, he knew it. He ain't doing nothing but mocking me. That's right. That's all he's doing is mocking me. Amen. Listen closely. And he answered him, go and prosper. Micaiah, shall we take off, take Ramoth Gilead? And Micaiah said, well, go and prosper. For the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. The Lord will give it to you. And the king said now, unto him. Listen to what Ahab said. How many times. Now, how many times. Shall I adjure shall thee. Shall I adjure thee. That thou tell me that nothing. That you don't tell me nothing. But that which is but true. that which is true. In the name of the Lord. You know any time you're going to say what they say, you know that's not you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But you ain't, you ain't no false prophet. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Now listen. And he said. Glory to God. I saw all Israel. All right, Ahab. You really want to hear from God? Amen. This is what it is. I saw I all Israel. Saw all Israel. Scattered upon the hill. Scattered upon a hill. As sheep that have not a shepherd. That doesn't have a shepherd. And the Lord said. The Lord said. These have these no master. These have no master. Let them return Let every man to his house in home peace. in peace. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat. What? Did I not you tell see that? you? Did not tell you? That he would prophesy. He no ain't going to tell me nothing me, good. I evil. want the man to tell me go up. Now he tell me all Israel scatter and tell us go home. That's In other right. words, we're going to lose the battle. That's right. I told you not to call him. Did I not tell thee? <laughs> Amen. That's the way God man is. He's a troublemaker. Yeah. Every God sent, God Every called God. man is a universal troublemaker. That's right. Huh? That's right. He's a troublemaker. He refused to walk hand in hand with the workers of the devil. That's it. He fight those enemies that work for the enemy. That's right. Listen. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. Hear I, the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. All oh, praise be to God. Amen. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne with the host of heaven. Standing by him standing on his right by hand. Standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab? And the Lord was Ahab? talking to the spirits that was in heaven and said, Who's going to go to persuade Ahab? That he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead. That he may fall and die at Ramoth Gilead. And one said on this manner and said another on said on that manner. Real quick. And there came forth a spirit. There came forth a spirit and it stood before God. And said, I will persuade him. I will go. And, the and I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? The Lord said, how are you going to do it? Listen at what the Spirit volunteered to be. And he said, I will go forth. I will go forth. And I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. That same, and not that he was a lying spirit. No. But he volunteered to be, to be a lying spirit. spirit. Mm -hmm. That the word of the prophets may come to pass. That's right. That same spirit is in the mouths of the preachers today. Amen. Lying Until I'm saying to all religions, that's not in the book. Go ahead. All of you, go back home. Go home. For Please you have, have no, master. no master. No master. I see you scattered all around the world. That's right. Having conventions, having crusades, having tent meetings and fake killing meetings. That's right. No repentance. Amen. Come here, Reds. Come here, son. Come here, Ryan. The fake healing meeting. You you catch him, Ryan. <laughs> Go ahead. That's what folk do. Go ahead. You got him? <laughs> Fake 
fake healing. Come here. That's what these false prophets do. Amen. Fake healing. They come off in the tongue first. He like my suck in my ear. Gotta get a Honda. And make a little sound. Woo! One. Two. Three. You understand? Amen. Amen. That same lying spirit. Lying spirit. That was in Ahab, boys. Mm -hmm. Is in the same deceivers of the day. Yeah. Same ones. Amen. Amen. Isn't it ironic how Micaiah stood out then? <laughs> and a real man of God will stand out today. That's right. Listen. And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit. Read fast. My in, time is almost gone. In the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him. Yes. And prevail also. Go forth and do so. Go forth and do it. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets. That's why these false prophets can't tell the truth. Can't tell. God have given the devil permission. That's right. To be a lying spirit in the mouth. And these shepherds, mm -hmm. these pastors, that's right. These so-called reverends. That's right. He gave the devil permission. That's right. To be a lying spirit lying in spirit. their mouth. That's right. In all these prophets. All these prophets. And now look at what Jesus said. Many mm -hmm. false prophets shall, shall come, come and shall deceive many. That's right. So after. Ahab did submit to the suggestion of Jehoshaphat and the man of God, Micaiah, came. Micaiah's message was different from the 400, 400 messengers minutes. of the devil. Every God sent man message will contradict That's right. the message of Satan. That's right. It's going to be different. Different. You're not going to be allowed to live with that man that's not your husband. All right. Amen. Live with that woman that's not your wife. All right. You're not going to be allowed to be a Christian drinker, mm -hmm. cigarette sucker. You're not going to be allowed to remarry and divorce. That's right. No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Jesus said from the beginning it was not so. That's right. You understand? That's right. The men are not going to be allowed to go outside naked. Amen. Showing their cactus legs mm -hmm. with shorts. <laughs> The women not going to be allowed to wear splits from your ankle to your thighs. That's right. And your dress come open like a curtain. Yeah. Not going to be allowed to wear deep cut necks and your back all out. Yeah. Not going to be allowed to wear hot pants and what's in the pants fall out. Amen. <laughs> Mothers and holders not going to be allowed to put on uh, the type of shoes that got these laces that tie all up the legs Lakes. of this five-year-old daughter looking like a 15-year-old hoe. Amen. With lipstick all on her lips and her ears pierced. That's right. You're not going to be allowed to go to the store and buy off somebody else's hair. That's right. What's wrong with the way that God made you? Amen. Brother's not going to be allowed to dye your hair and wear two pays and arch your eyebrows like you a Bible-toting faggot. Go ahead. Am I right? That's right. Go ahead. Old Go men ahead. not going to be allowed to dye your hair. If your hair is gray, the Bible call you the hoary head Go and ahead. God say honor it. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. If your hair is white as snow, be grateful. Amen. Amen. Women not going to be allowed to wear eyebrow pencil. Our last sticker. Yeah. What's that for? Mm -hmm. It's deception. That's what it you is. You think your eyebrows look thicker. That's like caking mud in your hair to make it look thicker. Amen. What's wrong with the way God made you? Amen. God made everything well. That's right. And holders, men and women, not going to be allowed to wear earrings. All right. My brothers, you don't need no earrings. No. You ain't no woman. That's right. Remember, you got two earrings. Mm -hmm. What's that for? <laughs> Take it out. Amen. Huh? When I was coming up in the hood, yeah, man, yeah. we put an earring on. Hey, that means we, we can roll. That's right. 
But now they're getting two. Two of you. Shaking. Mm-hmm. And some of you not raising your sons to be young men or young gentlemen. Wanting to be young street hoodlums. That's right. Little boys, your son. That's right. You're going to take them to get their ears pierced. My Lord, my Lord. Your son with his pants hanging down, his drawers showing. Mm-hmm. You let your son go out with his underwear showing, pants hanging down, shoelaces all untied. Amen. My Lord, my Lord. And he learned it from his father. That's right. He learned it from his daddy. Yeah. Men that want to be holy and walk with God, you don't be allowed to walk around with plaques in your hair. That's right. Talk to me. That's right. Even the women, the Bible speak against the plaiting of, the, of hair. the hair. That's right. Let, let's, let's get some Bible. Get some Bible for that. Plaited hair and broaded hair. Modern time is called braided. That's right. Give me 1 Timothy 2, 9 and 1 Peter chapter 3, begin at verse 3. Amen. Listen. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and at verse 9. There's going to be some hair removal today. Amen. We want to make some soldiers out of men and women. That's right. This is God's way. That's right. Not Geno Jennings Church. This is God's way. God's way is heaven or hell. Go ahead. Paradise or hell. Go ahead. Choice is yours. Amen. Come on, someone, down to three minutes. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Follow me. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest is conservative. That's right. Conservative. Mm-hmm. Cover that stuff up. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Modest apparel. Go walk around trying to shake what your mama gave you. That's Cover right. that stuff up. That's right. You find these women sometimes supposed to be Christians witnessing the men in the street. What man gonna think about Christ and your blouse is cut down like my jacket? And what's in it sticking out? You trying to give That's him right. a pamphlet? You been born again? Born again. <laughs> You ain't gonna think about no new birth. Are you man? No, Are you? No, no. Are you? No. Talk to me. No, <laughs> That's right. You're gonna be worrying about, well, you know, what's your name? Can I have your number? <laughs> well, you say, well, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a holy roller. Now, give me your phone number. We can have a prayer meeting. That's right. Is that right? Amen. You might as well be on the real. You ain't gonna be thinking about no Jesus. No. Walking around with a stocking with a line going all up the back and high spike heels. That's right. Half naked. Amen. Standing in front of you with some literature. Standing in front of you. Well, you really need to be born again. God wants you to change. Well, I ain't got no problem in change. <laughs> well, will you help me change? Help me change. Will you help me change? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, make a sucker out of you. Am I right? <laughs> you know how these men laugh because they know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I'm telling you in plain terms. Yeah, make you a Bible toting sucker out of you. Amen. You thinking you want he you want he want to be saved? That's not even in his mind. No. His mind is get all he can, mm-hmm. and then can all that he can get. That's right. Come on, Sam. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel. With modest apparel. No back out, no deep cut necks. No. Not dyeing your hair. That's right. What's wrong with the color God gave you? That's right. Leave your hair the way God made it. That's right. Putting mm-hmm. all these chemicals in your hair. Then your hair go right back to the way God really made it. Your hair still backslides. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Your hair eventually backslides. That's right. Well, my husband loved me to look like this. Listen, what was imagine if if you could only please your husband by wearing war paint, suppose you get sick. That's right. Mm-hmm. Or have a stroke. That's right. And you can't wear all that stuff. That's true. That's true. Then what? Then what? You should be able to love the real you. Amen. Well, if I dye my hair to take years off, no, it don't. You still 65. <laughs> You just lying to yourself. Let's get real. That's right. You still 65. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is that right? Amen. Here's my brother, Elder Flint. Mm-hmm. Now, if he come in with a pitch black afro, <laughs> how old are you, Elder? He's 78. My Lord. He's still going to be 78. That's right. 
Do you understand? That's right. Mothers, how in the world can you try to tell your young daughters what to do, what not to do, and here you trying to be a teenager yourself? Yeah. Senior citizens with all these strap on high spike heels and your toenails painted, That's your right. fingernails painted, deep cut here, something tight there, and then when you walk, everything gets wrapped. <laughs> Is that right? That's right, <laughs> You understand? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Ain't no man gonna think about Jesus. No, no. That's not the nature of a man to think about Jesus when he see all that. That's right. If you if you hear him say. Jesus, he's not thinking about him. Amen. <laughs> Is that right? No, he ain't thinking about him. Amen. He may call him Jesus, but he ain't thinking about him. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Come on, son. That women adorn themselves in modest the scripture apparel. says that women adorn themselves. That's why you see our women covered. That's right. God demands it. That's right. From head. To tell Amen. God demands it. Amen. Not you wear a dress to church and the pants to work. That's right. We don't care if your job require pants. We hold God's laws. God's laws. And they try to fire you because you refuse to wear pants. You got your right to sue them for religious discrimination. That's right. You won't find that none take her stuff off. No, no. Is that right? Amen. You won't find that Jewish brother take that thing off. No. Listen. That women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What? With shamefacedness. Shamefacedness. And sobriety. Sobriety. Not with broided hair. Uh oh. Amen. Not with broided hair. Or gold. Gold. Or gold. Finger rings. Gold. Bracelets. Gold. Necklaces. Gold. Ankle chains. Gold. You're not no prostitute. Why are you wearing an ankle chain? That's right. Well, it make my legs look better. You've been lied to. That's no, right. it don't. No, it don't. Do you understand? Amen. Listen. Or pearls. Pearls. Or costly array. Getting debt, trying to spend all this high, all this money, large sums of money large sums. for clothing. That's right. But what? But which becometh women professing godliness. Godliness. With good works. Good works. Give me the book of Peter. First Peter chapter 3 and at verse 3. Listen closely. Who's adorning? Let it not let be. Let it not be. When the Bible says let a thing not be, that means he forbid it for it to take place. That's right. What? Who's adorning? Let it not be that outward adorning. Yes. Of plaiting the hair. It didn't say twisting the hair. That's right. Plait and twist is two different things. Two different things. That's right. A twist is two strings. Mm -hmm. Plat is three. The Bible said exact 